Welcome to Fox Sports presentation of the World Series. Texas and Mystique, the Marlins wreak their own kind of havoc. The little fish in the big pond on baseball's biggest stage literally ran away with game one. They didn't act intimidating. They don't seem scared. Speedy and fearless, the Marlins aren't in awe, but maybe the Yankees should be. If the Stripes miss the urgency of game one, they are feeling it now. Three losses from extinction. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Game 2 of the World Series. I'm Jeannie Zalasko along with Kevin Kennedy. Uh, keep it warm? Uh, yeah, it's cold here. <laughs> yeah. The Marlins, by the way, rewriting all the rules this month. Something new for the Yankees. They now know firsthand what the Giants and, of course, the Cubs witness. The Marlins are a special club. They are special. And, Jeannie, you know, there's only a handful of players in Major League Baseball that change the way a manager manages against them. If it's the New York Yankees, you're talking about Mario and Rivera. If you're talking about the Florida Marlins, it's definitely Juan Pierre. And because of his speed, this guy learned to play small ball. <laughs> I learned at you know early age that I had to learn to hit the ball the other way, hit it on the ground, low line drives, bunt, base run. That was brought my only ticket to get to the big leagues. The ball we're talking about 3.5 down the line on a bunt for an average runner from the left side. It's about 4-1 to 4-2. That's how fast Juan Pierre is. He got it going last night right away. Little blooper by Castillo, about 110 feet onto the grass right there. He goes right away to third base, set the tone early in the game and often forced Joe Torre in the middle of the ball game to bring the infield in second and third. He normally would not do that in the middle of a game right here. This set the tone. What does Pierre do? Line drive past to Derek Jeter. Normally Derek would have had that ball, but this would cost him right here two runs. And then Boone has to cut it because of the speed of Pierre. He might go to second base. A lot of people criticize Boone for that. Juan Pierre then later would steal second base. I mean, this is a guy we talked about. You have to keep off base. Last night, the Yankees were unable to do that, Jeannie. Look at the singles, infield hits, bunt hits, sack hits, steals. This guy has done everything, the most of his ability, and all that speed has created havoc on the base paths against the Yankees and last night. And we've watched Pierre get it done this entire postseason, but how about Dontrell Willis back on track? I relief. like him in the bullpen, Jeannie. This guy did not pitch well in the postseason, a little bit nervous, but out of the pen, he's done a good job, especially last night. Right here again, punching out Derek Jeter, two and a third inning, set it up for the save for Urbina. A nice move by Jack McKean because now they have two lefties in that bullpen instead of one. you got the youngster down there, and he's healthy enough. He can come right back tonight. All right, we look forward to that. Uh, who are these Marlins, by the way? Jeff Conine has an interesting perspective, considering he just entered the mix in August. Steve Lyons has more on the man they call Mr. Marlin. All right, with Jeff Conine now, and here we're talking about the attitude of your team and how much fun you have. And you were quoted as saying, this is like a Little League dugout. What kind of things are you seeing in that dugout this year that you didn't see in 97? Well, not only 97, probably no <laughs> other team that I've ever played on in the major leagues. Uh, you know, just the first day I was ever here, the first time I was in the dugout, they were screaming out lines from Slapshot and uh, different movies and, and... During the game? During the game, I was just, I was laughing for like the first three innings I was with this team. I know that you guys make fun of Jack McKeon. He'll say something that's serious and then behind his back, everyone repeats it, not so serious. What's going on? Yeah, I mean, uh, like 
a couple of the guys will, every time a guy's on third base, you know, Jack will always say, be alive for the wild pitch, you know, and there's a guy on third base, Andy Fox will say, be alive for the wild pitch. And then sure enough, there's an echo down the end of the bench, Jack saying, be alive for the wild pitch. And it's just, it's something that we all have fun with. Look out for the wild pitch and look out for the wild card Marlins. Jeff Conan was acquired because of the late season injury to Mike Lowell and did a great job. Five home runs down the stretch and since they've acquired Jeff Conan, the club has gone 26 and 12, including in the postseason. Yeah, what else would you expect from Mr. Marlin? Let's talk about the Yankees for a moment. ALCS hangover? I, I don't know. Whatever the excuse, the Yankees didn't get it done. And before you hit the panic button, consider this. Since Joe Torre took over the reins, the Yankees have dropped game one of a playoff series nine times and only once did it lead to their demise. Owen 13. Remember, the Twins didn't stand a chance. Apparently, the Yankees never got the memo. They promptly dropped the opener of the divisional series. A wake up call? Oh, yeah. The pinstripes took the next three. Up next, the Red Sox. Enemies for life. Stretched to the limit with the A's. Boston rode a motion into Yankee Stadium and grabbed the opener. Two brawls, six games, and one blast in the Bronx later. The Yankees survived another pitfall only to walk into another one. The Stripes had won 10 straight World Series games at the stadium. The Trader Jack flipped the coin. The D-Train got back on track, and speed killed. The Fish trampled history again, and the Yankees lost another game one. Sensing a pattern here? Maybe it is all part of a master plan. Lay low and lull your opponent to sleep. And just when they think they have a chance, enter Mystique, Aura, and Mariano. After being upset in round one last year by Anaheim, the Yankees are playing with more of a sense of urgency this time around, especially Joe Torre managing, bringing in Rivera again for six out saves. Tonight he's got Giambi back in this three spot to face the lefty Mark Redmond because that will take the changeup away from Redmond. That's his out pitch. Normally lefties like that don't like to throw changeup to left-handed hitters. But so Joe Torre is proactive, Jeannie. All right, just when you thought the Red Sox had left the postseason landscape, Kevin Millar calling Redmond today, giving him a scouting report. Well, and Redmond has seen these guys before. Remember, he was an American League guy, so he knows. Fastball, curveball, changeup guy. Again, the changeup is his out pitch. For Andy Pettit, we know what he has. Good cut fastball. He'll go into right-handed hitters. He's got a good fastball, 90 to 92, occasionally 93. On a cold night, that's going to help him. And a good changeup and a good slider as well. He's got all the pitches. He's pitched extremely well in the postseason. 2-0 record. Mark Redmond has not pitched extremely well, but he's got that changeup, that out pitch. And that's, again, that's why Giambi's in the, in the three spot tonight to see if he can get some fastballs and have Redmond not throw him that changeup. Good course, move by Joe Torre. Had it with the pickoff move, which should be great watching against the speed. Yeah, and, you know, and Juan Pierre has 15 steals. That's the most against any lefty in baseball. So Andy Pettit has to watch out for him. That's a key. Keep him off base. All right. Uh, Gillette, by the way, has been bringing us the Mach 3 Turbo Club. Close shave plays of the week all season long. Now let's take a look at the close shave plays of the championship series that helped both the Yankees and the Marlins get to the fall classic. Who could forget these memories? We just saw Dusty Baker in the house. We sure so, did. Dusty, Dusty not, don't watch. Yeah, Dusty, don't look at this. Beckett right there with that 97, 98 fastball. You know, Gina, I talked to Pudge Rodriguez. He said, this is the wild card. This guy's phenomenal right here. All right, Gillette wishes both teams the best of luck in the World Series. And all season long, Fox Sports and Sprint have been interactive, so why should we stop now? Have your PCS Vision phone by Sprint handy or log on to foxsports.com. Joe Buck and Tim McCarver will put you to work. Still ahead, the Marlins didn't crack under the October spotlight, and now it's the Yankees who are feeling the heat. Of course, the ghosts of October past are on their side. The storied history resonates throughout Yankee Stadium in late autumn. And there's a lot of it as we celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Fall Classic. It was late September, and as the season turned, a nation's thoughts turned to baseball. Old feud continues. The years old running with Bean-eaters from Boston wouldn't stand a chance against our champs anyway. Not a prayer, Barney. Don't write the news before it's made, Mr. Dreyfus, sir. <laughs> Don't think they really could beat us, do you? Nah. Nah. What do you think you're going to beat the national champions? Well, we're only three years old. They've been around for a quarter century. I still think our boys can beat them. <laughs> and of course, it could be marvelous for both teams, where the tickets would be set at 50 cents, and the visiting club could be given a quarter on every ticket sold. Can't we stop all this constant baseball talk? This isn't baseball talk, my dear. This is money talk. <laughs> <laughs> Boston bums, right? <laughs> I don't know. I hear they're 
hear that Cy Young fella is about the best pitcher there is. Cy! Hold on. Here you might be starting. Yep. Most important thing is to beat those guys. We'll get them, Cy. What are you going to call these games, anyway? Why, it's the national championship, of course. Excuse me, Mr. Dreyfus, it's more than that. This series of games will determine the best baseball team in the world. Come on, this guy's no battle. Let's go, let's go, come on. Come on, just let's Come on, get it over the plate. It took eight games. But the upstart Boston Puritans beat the established Pittsburgh Pirates in 1903, and the World Series was born. Over the last 10 years, Fox NFL Sunday has been America's number one pregame show. I think that might be one of my favorite outfits. Somebody come here and stop my head! This isn't exactly what I expected. <laughs> Fox NFL Sunday, next week. It silenced the skeptics. It defied the laws of physics. It tested the limits of human ingenuity. What will it do next? Introducing the new LS from Lexus. Never talk past eight o'clock at night. It's my three way. To I talk to my dad. A lot of minutes. My three kids can always get through. The ringer goes da 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 da. It's my girlfriend. During the commute, send me updates of all scores. All weekend long. As long as it's a sweet phone, you can count. I on. can talk for hours. So it's a long distance relationship. Join the millions of customers in California who are experiencing the power of the state's largest all digital network. Now with hundreds of millions of dollars invested in new technology, try Singular for yourself. And if you don't agree, cancel within 15 days. In California, Singular fits you best. All right, we need a name for our new chicken breast strips. Something that says these new chicken breast strips are real, like our old ones, but much bigger because they're sliced right from the breast. Hmm, bigger breasts. Real breasts. <laughs> Big, plump breasts. Huge breasts. Um, big, uh... Don't go there, Phil. The BMW 7 Series is equipped with active roll stabilization, which minimizes body roll when cornering. Because the only thing you want to think about when you're driving... That was some road. Let's do it again. ...is driving. The BMW 7 Series. Test drive one at your BMW center today. Number one in L.A., Susan Hirasuna, Jeff Michael, The Fox 11, 10 o'clock news. You were under of Salazar for six months. I know what they did to you. I didn't lose a year of my life to arrest some drug dealer. Are we clear? Concerned about you, Jack. Things you did to get me here. will never be the same. On October 28th, someone close to Salazar is demanding his release. If we don't comply, he's threatening to initiate an outbreak of a very deadly virus. This kid's walking around with a bag of cocaine that's got the virus in it. We need to find him and stop him from putting it into circulation. Chase, we got a runner! The first wave of attack will be terror. The damage to this country will be catastrophic. The last line of defense will be him. Just do it now! Keeper Sutherland, 24. The season premiere, Tuesday, October 28th on Fox. Presented without commercial interruption by the next Ford F-150. Applause for the Naval Submarine School on the guard. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise? And please direct your attention now to the microphone behind home plate and welcome world-renowned soprano and two-time Grammy Award winner, Renee Fleming. She will sing our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose bright
broad stripes and the bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watch as the gallantly streaming and the rockets ring the bombs burst in air give proof through the night that our flag was still there oh seed us that star spangled the right truck. Hi, uh, black coffee to go. Does your truck have better resale value than Ford and Dodge? A Silverado half-ton pickup does. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, is this hey. your truck? What's it going for? What do you mean, what's it going for? Let me I make you know. an offer. Have it's not for sale. Leave it here, it's for sale. It's not for sale. Silverado, it's the right truck from Chevy. Ah. I've made a lot of news on the baseball diamond, but if you want to find out about this diamond, you gotta go talk to your doctor. Ready to try Viagra for the first time? See your doctor and find out if a free sample's right for you. My doctor says it's right for me. That's why I stay with it. For more information, go to Viagra.com. Gonna call Napoleon your king? No! There's not a moment to lose. and Commander, rated PG-13, November 14th, only in theaters. Tomorrow, Fox will introduce a real American cowboy to a group of European women. Oh, he's good looking. Convince them he's worth $80 million in oil. What? I'm sure I'm gonna like this lifestyle. And invite them to win his heart. He's rich. He's very rich. Does anyone know how to say sucker in French? Hello, money, baby. The next Joe Millionaire. <laughs> Diplomats are standing by. Premieres at 8, 7 central, tomorrow on Fox. I just want to run away. I do. I'd go anywhere with you. Can you imagine what will happen if the press gets a hold of this? The DA's son and the pornographer's daughter? They would ruin me. They would ruin you. His father is the district attorney. He wants to destroy my family. Why does it matter if our parents are? Tell your son to keep his filthy hands off my daughter. Every politician needs a target. You cannot see this girl again ever. The rich man's dead. What have I done? I love you, Adam. I love you too. Skin, a new series, premieres at 9 tomorrow on Fox. This week. How many more people do you have to hurt? Television's biggest event is on FX. All we have is each other now. Show me what you got. The season finale, Nip Tuck, this week only on FX. Look at this little beauty sitting down here in the Bronx. The lights are on. We're ready for game two of this World Series. And now welcome to the broadcast booth. 
I'm Joe Buck, Tim McCarver in just a second. Well, what happened in game one? The Florida Marlins right out of the gate showed everybody what they do. And that is they got a bunt base hit, a flare base hit, a sack fly. They took the lead. They played all night like it was a mid-May game. They weren't intimidated at all. And for the Yankees, it's reality check time. I mean, yeah, they did beat the Boston Red Sox in seven games in the ALCS. But it was like they and the crowd took the night off last night in game one. And here they are down a game with Andy Pettit on the mound to Tim McCarver. We've seen this before, haven't we? I mean, here's Andy Pettit oh, yeah. on the mound for the Yankees with the Yankees down one game tonight. It's the same movie uh, in the LDS. The Minnesota Twins won the first game. Andy Pettit started and won with a brilliant performance in game two. Boston Red Sox won the first game of the LCS. Andy Pettit started and won game two and tonight he'll try to do it again for the Yankees. The one thing however and you touched on it Joe the one thing that the Marlins if they lose this series they won't be awed doing it and they showed that last night. An impressive performance here in game one right here in the Bronx. Well after Paul O'Neill just threw out the ceremonial first pitch we get ready for the real deal the real first pitch. It's game two of this 2003 World Series coming your way next. Hey man, remember how Ted was talking about his new acting job, but he was a little, um, hazy on the details? Right up here, baby. Well, ladies and gentlemen, say hello <laughs> to Pickle Boy. I'm so glad I got to see this. Happy to help. Picture mail that talks from Sprint. At Sprint stores, choose from a wide selection of picture phones starting at $99.99. Share it when it happens. I was working in the garage and I smelled smoke. I quickly determined it was a grease fire. I knew grease fires were different from other type blazes, but I wasn't sure the best way how to handle such a conflagration. So I asked myself, what would Jared do? I'd get a veggie delight on wheat, or maybe with the honey oat bread. Sorry, what was your question again? The veggie delight from Subway. Eat fresh. Mom! Hey, Mom, I'm out of here! You're a two-car family, and you're one car short. Now, your state farm agent can help with information on auto loans and leases, as well as competitive rates on auto insurance. Talk to your agent today. We live where you live. Who's Mom's driving next week? In a world that seems to be getting faster by the minute, you may want to take a few seconds to reflect on this. The Lincoln Town Car made automotive history by becoming the first car to receive the government's highest five-star safety rating in every category. See your Lincoln dealer now for 0% APR financing or up to 4,500 cash back. Travel well. Wednesday, October 29th, the funniest place on earth is Wisconsin? Okay, Wisconsin. From that 70s show. I may need you to lotion me up. To a minute with Stan Hooper. I'm America's every man. Every man relates to me. I don't. Find your laughs. May I ask why you're wearing my daughter's blouse? In the strangest places. Sorry to barge in. You always barge in. And this time I'm sorry. It all starts Wednesday, October 29th on Fox. The World Series on Fox is brought to you by the next Ford F-150, built Ford Tough. By Sprint, proudly offering picture mail and PCS Vision picture phones. By State Farm, providing insurance and financial services like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. And by the new AOL 9.0 Optimize at AOL.com or at a retailer near you. Well, people, it's 48 degrees in New York tonight, 80 in Miami which is where this series is headed after this game two. Andy's headed on the mound, and we give you the starting lineup for the Florida Marlins, brought to you by State Farm. Juan Pierre leads it off. 
Then it's Luis Castillo batting second. Same look as last night. Rodriguez hitting third. Miguel Cabrera has solidified his spot in the cleanup role. Derek Lee, Mike Lowell, Jeff Conine, the DA, Juan Encarnacion, and Alex Gonzalez is the shortstop batting ninth. And here is Andy Pettit. The Yankees once again turn to Andy Pettit to try to win game two after losing game one. And what Andy hopes to do is to keep the speed off the bases. And if they do get on, provide a tourniquet for the running game. Ground balls galore. That's to the left side because of that cut fastball. The cutter in on the hands of the right handers. Both shortstop Derek Jeter and third baseman Aaron Boone should get a lot of play if Pettit is on. And the left handed batters that have hit well against him this year, the Marlins only have one. That's Juan Pierre in the lineup tonight. Well, the timing's working out beautifully here tonight. We can right. even show you the defense before the first pitch of the night. Derek Jeter, we highlight at shortstop, turned to double play last night. 15 double plays this postseason. Matsui Williams and Juan Rivera is the right fielder tonight. And when we give you the lineup, when the Yankees come to bat, you will notice a very different batting order for Joe Torre. But as you look at Soriano, people in New York calling for Soriano to be moved out of that leadoff spot. He is in the leadoff spot tonight. But right now for the Marlins, it's their leadoff man, Juan Pierre, who last night was just about all the offense against David Wells. He went two for three, scored a, a run, the first run of the night, and drove home the difference-making runs in the middle inning. And there's the defense on the infield for Pierre to guard against that speed. Ball one inside. These two pitchers tonight, Andy Pettit and Mark Redmond, will be working on short rest. Only three days rest for Andy Pettit. He worked on Wednesday night, game six, went five innings. Left with a one-run lead over the Red Sox. That's inside, it's 2-0. and oh. Pettit has pitched 14 times in his career on three days rest. You see what he does following a Yankee loss, including winning the last 10. Last night, a 3-2 win for Florida, strike one. Last time Pettit worked on three days rest was in July of 2001. So it's been a while. Two and two on Pierre. Andy throwing only 92 pitches against the Boston Red Sox on Wednesday. stays up there he was the toughest to strike out across Major League Baseball during the regular season and you can make that kind of contact regularly and you have the kind of speed of Juan Pierre easy to see why he ended up with over 200 hits think about it Juan Pierre only swung through 67 strikes this year. That's about one every other game. Almost caught him on that right arm able to get it out of the way and the count three balls two strikes. Already a difference with this crowd is they certainly sense the urgency involved with game two with the Yankees dropping game one last night. That and they're cold. They're just trying to move around and get warm. Still three and two. Well, we even talked about it during last night's game. The Pettit, with that great pickoff move, the best in baseball clearly, would be tested here in game two with his running game that the Marlins present. Another 3 2 pitch, and Pierre checks on Soriano. I 
I'm told 48 and graphically it pops up. Humidity 93%. There was some rain earlier in the day, then the sun popped out in the afternoon. The wind 5 to 10 miles per hour, and it's not supposed to rain the rest of the evening. Pretty good indication right there of how chilly it is at Yankee Stadium tonight. That hat? Yeah. It was dug out of the back of the closet. Bottom of the trunk. With one out, here's Castillo. Luis had a hit last night, and five at bats. Up there to take, and he takes ball one. Andy Pettit, when he's worked on three days rest in the postseason, it's happened four starts. He has a record of two and one and an ERA of 3.71. He misses low, it's two and oh. Von Rodriguez couldn't wait to tell us how cold it was out there on the field when we saw him before the game tonight. The 2-0. Two and one. Castillo, a guy who will push the ball to the right side. Soriano, the second baseman, is way back. You really have to shorten up on these two, the one and two hitters of the Marlins. Reason you'd want to take, if you're going to bunt, the bunt to the right side is that Andy Pettit falls toward the third baseline, a big slot toward second base. Castillo takes ball three. So three balls and a strike with Ivan Rodriguez waiting on deck here in the first inning. Juan Pierre grounded out. Castillo's taken. It's a full count. a lot of that and they did a lot of that in the series against the Cubs. They made those Cubs starters work to get out a lot of pitches per at bat. And these Marlins are very good at this just spoiling a pitch getting a piece and making the hurler throw another. Very frustrating. Those are the types of pitches that you want a hitter to put in play. That it's 3 2 to the left side in the hole. Cheater going to try it and just playing defense like a backstop was Nick Johnson off the bag. It's a base hit. One on, one out. Johnson was only hoping to keep it in the field of play. Derek Cheater has to go to his right to field a ground ball. He is not going to throw out Juan Pierre or Luis Castillo. Too much speed. So Castillo with the first base runner of the night, first base hit for the Marlins. You know what's interesting though is to watch a guy like Jeter and maybe with where the ball was when he picked it up on the hop, he couldn't do it. But we talked about it in the ALCS. Typically, he play kind of jumps and throws across his body, and with the speed of Castillo, he fired quickly. Actually, made a solid, strong throw, but it was a little wide. One on, one out. And Yvonne Rodriguez takes ball one. Rodriguez is hit in 11 of the 12 postseason games which the Marlins have played. He's hit three home runs, driven in 17, and number 17 gave Florida a first inning lead last night. And there's Castillo's look at the move of Andy Pettit. Andy did not have any pickoffs this year because a lot of American League runners do not run against him anymore. 67 pickoffs since 1995. That's the most in the majors. That's low. The count's 2 0. Oh. That's like a Deion Sanders. In the NFL, they say, well, he only had a few interceptions. Well, that's because quarterbacks didn't throw his way. They picked on the other side. And for base stealers, they know that they have to hang close to that bag. And for a first baseman like Nick Johnson, he has to keep his eyes peeled. 
because of that deceptive move by Pettit. Now it's 3 0 on Yvonne Rodriguez. Castillo, an infield hit after Pierre grounded out. That's a strike. Rodriguez may have thought it was low. It's 3 1. Borderline. 3 and 1, 2 and 0 oh counts. We've talked about it before. Normally, they're not running counts. You want your hitter to be more selective, but with these Marlin hitters, perhaps it will be. Reason for that, they're contact hitters, not power hitters. Rodriguez with only 16 home runs this year. Andy Pettit with that very deceptive look home and then throw to first. Three balls and a strike on Rodriguez. Full count. And again, the crowd will try to get behind Pettit to help him pick up the second out of the inning. The third straight 3 2 count by Andy Pettit. Already thrown 21 pitches here in the first inning. Goes late, strike three called, throw down, and the inning is over. Strike him out, throw him out, double play. Rodriguez took it, Posada threw it. Soriano was there for the tag. Yankees coming up. In a world about to change, in a place where anything can happen, one man must rise up and lead. AOL 9.0 Optimized is about to explode onto a screen near you. The New York Times raves terrific, streamlined, the internet sanitized for your protection. The Wall Street Journal cheers, the filters drastically cut spam. CNET declares, get a ton of content you can't get anywhere else. The critics agree, AOL returns to the top with new version 9.0. The thrilling online adventure begins. Life needs rave reviews. We do things as a team. For a coach who lives to win, sometimes you've got to break the rules. He goes by radio. going to be helping us out for a while. Rated PG. Opens everywhere Friday. When buying life insurance, the first rule is make sure your life insurance company will outlive you. Life insurance, loans, retirement. AIG. We know money. The new smooth riding Mitsubishi Endeavor. It's perfect for families. But who needs to know? We go to the bottom of the first inning of game two. And Mark Redman, the left hander, will take on this lineup for the Yankees, brought to you by State Farm. Soriano is still in that leadoff spot, really struggling, with Jeter now back in the number two hole and Giambi back up in the three spot, the DH. Williams is cleaning up. Matsui had three hits last night. Posada is the catcher. Aaron Boone. Johnson is all the way down at eighth. And Juan Rivera is in right field, batting ninth against the lefty Mark Redmond. Mark Redmond, 6'5, 248 pounds, but doesn't throw like it. He rarely hits 90 on the ra radar gun. He falls behind early in the count and is unafraid to do that. Two types of changeups one for a strike, 
And one for a ball, one just off the plate. Former American leaguer, as Soriano takes a pitch low for ball one. Redmond came up with Minnesota in 99, went to Detroit July of 2001, and then traded to the Marlins as that misses outside 2-0. Had a right-hander been making the start for the Marlins, Soriano probably would have been moved out of the leadoff spot by Joe Torre. But against the lefty, he keeps Soriano up there. He is ahead of the count, 3-0. Three balls and a strike. Redmond has actually lost his last two starts here as Dusty Baker checks in here in game two. That's high, and it's a leadoff walk. So Soriano's patient, takes pitches, and gets the leadoff walk. And now the defense for the Marlins. Gonzalez was number one in the National League, turning double plays during the regular season, and he's been busy this postseason. And there's his double play combo mate, Luis Castillo. Cabrera, Pierre, and Encarnacion in the outfield. Bowl, Gonzalez, Castillo, and Lee on the infield. Pudge Rodriguez is catching the lefty Redman. Here's Jeter. That's a foul ball. Foul ball, strike one on Jeter. Even though Rodriguez shows off those great feet, hops out, but couldn't grab it before it was fouled. About the quickest feet I have ever seen behind the plate and how he how he brings those feet up under him. Joe Torre talking about that today. May have the, the best mechanics ever for a catcher. And then he said, present company excluded. <laughs> he said, you, Tim, and then me, meaning Joe Torre. A former catcher. Not even close. Neither of us. A check by Redmond as he shows the world his pickoff move to first. Well, and he, he doesn't have a good move to first base, but he thwarts the, the running game with a quick delivery home. He is one of the quicker deliverers in the National League. Only one stolen base against him this year. A bunt. Lowell lets it roll foul, and that's strike two. Juan Pierre could have told Derek what that ball was going to do. Well, you know, we, I said that last night, and here it is again, but when Pierre rolled that thing down on the grass, it for the most part stayed on the grass, and this time I guess it more has to do with spin. It was at least making its way toward the line, and then obviously if it falls off that shelf of grass, it's going to continue across the line and go foul. It's 0-2 on Jeter. So Jeter in the hole as he has tried to bunt twice. It's 0 2. Ball one. Redmond's last start was Wednesday night in Chicago. Saw Dusty Baker in the crowd here tonight. Redmond was taking on Baker's. Chicago Cubs in game seven and he lasted only three innings allowed five runs. But obviously his teammates. Came from behind and won that game as time is called to play. By Rodriguez. Don Mattingly has been here night after night with his son. Played with the Yankees 82 to 95 and only tasted postseason in 95. The Yankees were a wild card team that lost to Seattle. A one two to Jeter. Good pitch down and in, and Jeter. 
Looks bad on that swing. One on, one out. Rarely will a catcher set up inside for a changeup to a right-handed batter. Most changeups are thrown away, even though that ball is changed off his breaking ball. That was a curveball that just kept curving. And now sliding up in the order is Giambi. It's seventh the last two postseason games for Joe Torre and Jeter. Frustrated with that at bat as Giambi gets his hands up and takes ball one. Yeah, Dusty Baker wanted to be here for the World Series in uniform, in a Cub uniform. Right, he's got a great outfit on tonight. I mean, he looks fantastic. But he's got the scarf going, the glasses, but no Cub uniform on as that pitch hits the outside corner and the count's even and a ball and a strike. Got the Giants to the World Series last year. They had that series advantage, lost game six and seven, and then this year with the Cubs suffering the same type fate. Soriano left too soon, a throw down by Lee, two out. And the bases are empty with Giambi at the plate. Soriano picked off easily. Notice how Derek Lee comes toward the pitcher to be in a position to throw the ball. When Derek Lee released that ball, he was on the infield grass. That's something a left-handed thrower doesn't have to do, but a right-hander does. Now the 1-1 pitch to Giambi hits him. And Jason Giambi is at first with two out. First pitch nearly hit Giambi, and then the third pitch did. So Redmond obviously trying to work Giambi inside, and Bernie Williams comes to the plate. Last night had two hits, including his first home run of this postseason. And the 18th of his postseason career. That is the only home run hit by the Yankee outfielders in this postseason. That's in for strike one. Last night, batting left-handed against Penny. That made it a 3-2 game. But then Dontrell Willis took over. Got seven big outs in relief of Penny. And it was Urbina coming on to close out the eighth and get through a scary ninth inning, issuing a couple of walks but stranding two, nailing down a 3-2 win. Again, that comes with the disclaimer that Mantle certainly did not have the extra rounds and tiers of playoffs that Bernie Williams gets to enjoy with the division series and the LCS. All those home runs hit in the World Series. One ball, two strikes. That's Andy Pettit. Williams makes ball two. That's a changeup intentionally thrown out of the strike zone to try to get an aggressive hitter like Bernie Williams to swing at it. A 2 2 pitch. Down on a knee, Williams able to take it and stay away from it. Almost caught him. It counts full. Almost caught him on his back knee. Bernie's back right knee buckles. Looked like a little slider. Redmond on three and two with a runner going. Base hit to center, and Giambi will turn and go to third. First and third, two out for the Yankees here in the first. How important was that pickoff of Alfonso Soriano? Of course, you don't know that Jason Giambi is going to be hit by the pitch if Soriano is still on first, but still a, a very important play. 
Yankees have had three of four base runners and have not scored a run. And now Hideki Matsui, who had three hits and four trips last night. Joe Torre wanted to keep Matsui in this number five spot, even against the lefty. That's high for ball one. Matsui telling the Japanese media that he considers himself a big game player. Well, he has had his opportunities already in this, his first year with the Yankees in October. A 1 0. Two balls, no strikes with Posada next. A 2-0. A floater that misses. It's 3-0. Redmond's pace is slow. And he has had a tough time falling behind one hitter after another. Four of the first five hitters have been fallen behind by Redmond. A 3-0. Matsui sticks the bat out, hits it to dead center field. Back is Pierre. 3-0 New York. At 9.25 in the morning in Japan on Monday. They are going crazy, you can bet, as Hideki Matsui, who had the nickname of Godzilla, hit 50 home runs last year in Japan. 16 during the regular season. Just hit his second of this postseason, Kurt Gall. Straight away center field on a 3 0 count. A fastball out over the plate. Hammered the center. Juan Pierre runs out of room. To the right side, Castillo. Nice play to his left. The inning is over. But not before the Yankees. Down one game to none. Get a three run blast with two out from Hideki Matsui. Just got over the wall in center. Over the 408 mark. And as we go to the second, it's 3 0 New York. What you doing, Brian? Oh, I'm just putting my name and address in these bottles and sending them out to sea. <laughs> Hopefully, someone will find them and contact me someday. Wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why do you torture me, Brian Henderson of 12 Maple Lane? For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. Brian! Ooh. Nice to meet you. I've got to have this for Saturday night. What's Saturday? This is awesome! You might want to check out these speakers, too, there. Shorter. 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 Shorter is good, right? Yeah. Thousands of possibilities. Get yours. Best Buy. Let's say this is your car. Nice hard top. If you drive safely, meaning you do stuff like obey the speed limit, always check your blind spot, and avoid accidents, hey, watch it, lead foot, then Allstate could reward you with something you'll eat right up some green <laughs> up to 20 percent off your insurance bill it's the all-state safe driver discount call today and find out how you're in good hands with all-state hey this is for the safe driver here you go Take my hand and come with me because you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. I say you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. Four, five, six, come on and get your kicks. Now you don't need the money when you look like that, do you, honey? The wet. I would never do anything to her, Marissa. 
is over. California. The summer's biggest sensation is back on a new night. You're sending me to a mental institution. The OC returns Wednesday, October 29th on Fox. I always said I was going to be playing professional baseball. You know, that's all I ever talked about. The thing that means most to me is I want to be remembered as a Yankee. We either love us or hate us. I mean, I enjoy playing at home in front of the greatest fans in the world. And I also enjoy going on the road with people booing us and hating us. The bottom line is when you compete, you want to win. I live for this. Watch the World Series on Fox. Don't miss it. Andy Pettit heads back to work with a 3 0 second inning lead. Cabrera, Lee, and Lowell. The middle part of the order for the Marlins. The scheduled hitters. This is Cabrera, and that's ball one up and away. Miguel last night was 0 for 3 in his first World Series action, only 20 years old. Born in Venezuela. And does a little bit of everything for Jack McKeon as he clunks one into center field. He's going to carry all the way out to Bernie Williams. One out. Our Sprint Virtual Manager question, which city has the hotter nightlife? Miami or New York, baby? To answer the question, use your PCS Vision phone from Sprint or log on to FoxSports.com. It's my phone right here. This is what I would uh, use if I were to, in the middle of a World Series game, do such a thing. But because this is the World Series and because we are excited to have guests join us on the phone is Michael Strahan. Michael, hello. How are you? We're How doing you guys good. Doing? We're doing good. Congratulations on uh, getting up over the century mark now with uh, what you did today, getting a couple of sacks as Derek Lee hits it into right field. Back is Rivera for out number two. And with that, Michael, we'll ask you the question, my friend. In your opinion, which city has the hotter nightlife New York or Miami where we're headed tomorrow well I love Miami Miami's great but Miami's nightlife isn't as legendary as New York South so Beach? you have to go with New York South Beach come on oh, come on we go all the way back to studio 54 <laughs> and all that stuff so all you right. have to give it to New York all right you got you've got Broadway you've got the opera that's you have where a little going. bit of everything Here's Lowell golfing one into left center field. Matsui, Bernie Williams. It's Bernie Williams. And a 1 2 3 inning. Michael, thanks for joining us, and uh, better luck next week. All right, thank you, and go Yankees. All right, that's Michael Strahan. We go to the bottom of the second here at Yankee Stadium. Homer by Matsui, 3 0 New York. Sometimes you need a little help staying in the game. Ask your doctor about new Levitra. But once you get in the zone, it's good. Ask your doctor if a new choice is right for you. Ask about new Levitra. you have the right truck? Hi, uh, black coffee to go. Does your truck have better resale value than Ford and Dodge? A Silverado half-ton pickup does. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, is this your truck? What's it going for? What do you mean, what's it going for? Let me I make you know. an offer. It's not for sale. Right here, it's for sale. It's not for sale. Silverado, it's the right truck from Chevy. Ah! Father is in the 14th century. We need you to help get him back. I'm going. No weapon. No cell phone. No 911. Paul Walker. Timeline. Rated PG-13. Starts November 26th everywhere. I don't want to get married to a boy. <laughs> Be all weird. Their parents start crying in the aisles. And they make a big scene. And then, like, there'd be a river of cries, like, right in the middle of the aisle. And everybody would start crying. I just prefer a wedding dress. <laughs>
The World Series on Fox brought to you by the new Levitra, new choice. Here now, ask your doctor today. By MasterCard, there are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. By John Hancock, official sponsor of Major League Baseball. And by Kmart, a new look, a new energy. Right here, right now, Kmart. First pitch is in for strike one to Aaron Boone. It'll be Boone, Nick Johnson, and Juan Rivera. If anybody gets on, Alfonso Soriano. Boone is falling right into the what have you done for me lately category after winning game seven of the ALCS. Everybody's on him for cutting that ball off on the throw home from Matsui in last night's game. And the ninth inning, a fly out after the leadoff walk with his team down by one. The game ended 3 2. Matsui right now is the difference in this game, swinging at a 3 0 pitch. Change up. Boone didn't go after it. Two balls, two strikes. Hard pitch to lay off of after three fastballs. But Aaron Boone, his bat does not go through the strike zone. One of the problems he has had offensively, batting only 167, he's been lunging and jumping at the ball. Well, Redmond runs a count full, and you can only fall behind so many hitters before. It burned you. We said on we he said, got burned in the first. Yeah, we said on the scouting report he's unafraid to fall behind. He fell behind here. He gets a pop up in the right, and Pernacion takes care of Boone. You can be unafraid to fall behind hitters, but you can take it to a great extent. That 3-0 pitch to Matsui, right down the pipe, and Matsui. Wasting no time in putting the Yankees ahead. Nick Johnson now with one out, nobody on. Joe Torre telling us before this game that when the series goes to Pro Player Stadium, Nick Johnson will sit and Giambi, bad left knee and all, will play first. Lowell with a bare hand try, and it's a base hit. A bunt base hit for Nick Johnson with one out in the second. Some third base coaches will have a sign for this because when you look down you can't really tell whether the third baseman's that deep or not. But clearly Lowell was deep enough to have to make a bare handed try and Nick Johnson has a bunt base hit. Nicely done. Now Juan Rivera. 267 average he has four hits and 15 at bats. Gets the start against the lefty Redmond. First bunt hit of the season for Nick Johnson. And Juan Rivera with Lowell playing as deep as he was with Johnson. Showed it early on the first pitch and took ball one. What a rarity that is in baseball. Two bunt hits back to back. Well, Lowell's in a different spot now. Even with a bag, he's seen that enough. He's creeping back. And now he goes back to a regular third base position. As that's taken low, 2 0 in Redmond. If he continues to pitch like this, will not last much longer. And right on cue, there's Wayne Rosenthal, the pitching coach for the Marlins. They're going to get cranking in that Florida bullpen. Off day tomorrow, the travel day, and then game three will be on Tuesday night. What a pitching matchup Tuesday night. Mike Messina for the Yankees and Josh Beckett of the Florida Marlins. 23-year-old right-hander Beckett, who's as big a reason why the Marlins are in this position as anybody they have. With the job he did pitching against the Cubs in the NLCS. A 2 0 pitch. Rivera hammers it into left center field. Over the head of Cabrera to the wall. Nick Johnson will dig for third. They're going to bring him home. The relay by Gonzalez to the plate is wide. Throw down to third. Out. It's 4 0 New York.
Not a bad base running play by Rivera either with one out. It took a good play, and the Marlins turned it in after the Yankees added to their lead. This ball hammered to left field, and that's the time you want to take the chance with one out. With nobody out or with two out, it would not have been a good play. I'll tell you, he looked like he was in there. The tag was high on the left thigh of Rivera. Willie Randolph with a three run lead taking a chance. Johnson scores rather easily. There's Rivera looking at Johnson. He has to see whether Johnson clears third or not. Looks like a high tag to me. Very, very close. Looked like Lowell may have gotten him on the left knee just before the right foot in that slide of Rivera got to the base. Here's a 1 1 to Soriano. It's low, 2 and 1. It is certainly on the left thigh. He looked like he was in there. You could hear the crowd react when they showed the replay on the board here at Yankee Stadium. Soriano's jammed, and that'll get out of play. Two and two. Third base umpire is Ed Rapuano. Looked like Lowell's foot was between. Rivera's foot in the bag. Here's a 2 2 to Soriano. Got it by him. Second strikeout. And the inning is over. The play at third goes 7 6 2 5. In case you're wondering, we go to the third inning of game two. It's now 4 0 New York. Nice wrench work, Chief. If more men would heed the call of the Y chromosome, maybe more of us would have three such faucets at our fingertips. Hot. Cold. And... Miller High Life. Here's the windup and a pitch. There's a deep drive. That's going to be a home run. Hulk, the two disc special edition DVD that's loaded with extras. Buy it October 28th. Program in the first, $4. Summer wind. Snacks in the fourth, $25. From across the sea. A soda at the end of the seventh. Three dollars. It lingered there. Friday night, no TV, DVDs, or video games. And walk with Priceless. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's All MasterCard. Devoted fan of Major League Baseball. Tomorrow, Fox is telling these beautiful European women that this eleven thousand dollar a year cowboy is worth eighty million in oil. <laughs> we lied. Again. And now to the best part, he's rich. The next Joe Millionaire, an international affair. At 8, 7 central, tomorrow on Fox. And there he is, the next Joe Millionaire here tonight, oh, enjoying boy. the World Series. Season premiere of the next Joe Millionaire, an international affair. 8 Eastern, 7 central, tomorrow on Fox. Give you and I something to do in the off night. Sure. It's an off day for baseball, but not for Joe. Not Mayan for Joe. Mm -hmm. Not for Joe. Got the hat on. Breaking ball is in for a strike. It's 0 2. Jeff Conine is at the plate. He's the DH. A hit, two at bats, two walks, a run scored in game one.
Take strike three right down the middle and strikeout number two for Andy Pettit. Sometimes hitters look for pitchers to waste pitches with the count 0 and 2. Throw it just off the plate. And this one had a good piece of the plate, freezing Conine. So Conine is sent back to the dugout. And here's Encarnacion. Number eight hitter in this Marlin lineup, Encarnacion, drove in 94 runs during the regular season. The number nine man, Gonzalez, the shortstop, hit 18 home runs and drove home 77. A 1 0 pitch from Andy Pettit. 2 0. It's worth pointing out again that Pettit picked up the Yankees after they dropped game one of the division series to Minnesota. Pitched a terrific game here. In game two, beating Brad Radke. Then, after losing game one of the ALCS, Andy Pettit won game two here at Yankee Stadium over Boston. At least left with a lead Wednesday's game six. And here he is trying to pick up the Yankees after a loss in game one last night. Two balls, two strikes, and Encarnacion. Four nothing New York in the top of the third inning. A two two. Back to back strikeouts. Alex Gonzalez coming up. And let's go down to Steve Lyons. All right guys with Dusty Baker the manager of the Chicago Cubs and Dusty obviously disappointed not to be representing the National League in the World Series. But have you had a chance to step back from that and realize the joy that that team brought to the city. Uh, yeah, yeah I mean some. You know, I'll, I'll step back and realize it more, I guess, once the World Series is all over with. But, uh, you know, this is the World Series, and uh, I didn't have an idea I was coming here. You know, they, they brought me here to get an award, and uh, I tell you, I uh, still love coming to the World Series, love baseball, love watching, you know, two very good teams play. Obviously, the city of Chicago and the Cub organization brought you there to turn that team around. Did you have any idea that you'd be able to do it as quickly as you did? No, you know, we are hoping for a couple days, actually. Uh, about the third year, you know, like you know, like Dick Vermeil does in third year, he, he usually wins. But uh, you know, we came close. Uh, we got a few improvements to make. Guys played great. Uh, I'm exceptionally proud of my team. And uh, you know, now I'm looking at it and I'm here. Uh, you know, perhaps we got beat by by a better model teams. I mean, they're a very good team, and I don't think a lot of people know that. People are finding out about that right now, especially in this series and after the series you played with them. Dusty, congratulations for everything that you did this year. Thanks for joining us. All right, man, I'll see you next year. Steve, Guys. thanks. And Dusty, thanks for joining us. And he makes that point about the Marlins team. They trail 4 0 here tonight in the third inning. Andy Pettit just struck out the side. We go to the bottom of the third here in the Bronx. Jeter, Giambi, Williams coming up. Pettit doing his thing. It's 4 0 Yankees. We got a problem up here. Tower 12, weather's moving in. Head no. Do you have the right truck? Does your truck have a Duramax diesel? Does it have an Allison transmission? Silverado, it's the right truck from Chevy. The most dependable, longest lasting trucks on the road. The one you want. Right now at Circuit City, pay no interest for 24 months on all Hitachi projection TVs, like this 46-inch high-definition widescreen with built-in DVD player. Just $16.99.99 before instant savings. Circuit City, we're with you. On November 4th, <laughs> the number one movie of the year is finally on DVD and video. Rogers! Rogers! Packed with an ocean full of bonus features. Totally rock! Walt Disney Pictures presents a Pixar Animation Studios film. Fine. 
Finding Nemo. Own it on DVD and video November 4th. Sweet. Totally. I'm registering for the wedding. Hey, send her a picture of that one. Nothing says I love you like chrome pipes. Be there with the most whenever minutes and a T-Mobile camera phone. T-Mobile. Get more from executive producer Jerry Bruckheimer. Why does it matter who my parents are? Comes a provocative new series that critics are calling madly entertaining at every burning turn. I want you. His father is the district attorney. Let's take him down. Skin, the series premiere at 9, 8 central tomorrow on Fox. Derek Jeter first up for New York. Giambi and Williams will follow against Mark Redmond. Strike one on Jeter who struck out his first time. Last night in game one the Yankees were one for 12 with runners in scoring position and only two out of 18 with men on. Tonight a different story in the first inning a two out three run home run by Matsui on a 3 0 pitch. And then in the second after a base hit by Nick Johnson an RBI double by Juan Rivera he was thrown out trying to get the third. One ball one strike. Hard hit, base hit through the left side. Jeter's second hit of this series. And the bullpen once again active for the Florida Marlins quickly this time. Mark Redman has fallen behind eight of the first 11 hitters. And once again, we did say that in the scouting report, but that's uh, that's taking it a little bit too far. Here's Giambi. Jason hit by a pitch, scored a run back in the first inning, and this time he lines one into right center field for Pierre. Kind of a knuckler out there, and caught by Juan Pierre. One out. That'll bring in Bernie Williams. Williams got the hit to extend the first inning and get Matsui to the plate. Soriano had let off with a walk. Jeter struck out. Soriano was caught stealing 1 3 6. As Rick Helling, the right hander, gets loose. And then, after Giambi was hit by a pitch, Bernie Williams, a nice piece of hitting, went after a pitch it was down and singled to the left side, and then the home run by Matsui. That's outside ball one. Peter at first, one out. Williams late on that cut. One ball, one strike. On one and one, Williams, another foul. Same spot, one ball, two strikes. You can hear that faint cheer in the background. Let's go, Yankees. That is a cheer that was not heard too often last night. Marlins effectively took the crowd out of the game in the first inning when they scored first. Redmond gave up a leadoff hit to Jeter. Giambi fly to right center and now this one skips in and past Rodriguez down to second is Jeter. That's the second time in two at bats that Bernie Williams has ended up down on his right knee and this one missed him and missed the glove of Yvonne Rodriguez. It's a wild pitch. Squirts through the legs of Rodriguez. He got down on his right knee but he left the trap door open and Jeter moves to second. So 
Now the easier RBI chance for Williams. And the count's two and two. To the right side out of play. David Justice with 63 career postseason RBIs and Bernie Williams right behind him with 62. Again with far more chances than the greats who played this game divisional play starting in 69. And of course the extra tier the wild card the divisional playoffs in 95. Williams hops out. The wild card scheduled for 1994, but because of the strike, there was no postseason that year. The 2 2. Full count. Typically, you'd say, well, with a left hander like Matsui on deck, you'd think Redmond would stay in for another hitter after Williams, but. Matsui's a guy that took him out to straightaway center field. Mm -hmm. 3 2 pitch. Second walk handed out by Redmond. And Hideki Matsui will walk to the plate, but he will not be facing Redmond. Matsui mania. All of the attention that he gets from the Japanese media covering him here. Even has his picture on a big old jet airliner. He hit one into center his first time up. It's 4 0 Yankees and a pitching change for Florida. Hello? Hey, honey. Now, don't forget to pick up the dog. Me? Forget? Now there's a phone you can use as a wireless or as a walkie talkie. Hey, Gina, when do we record? Noon. Oh, thanks. Now at Radio Shack, get a Verizon Wireless Motorola V60P, a push-to-talk wireless phone for just $149.99. Hey, Vanessa. Rick, you didn't remember. Delivery, Miss Williams. <gasps> yes, uh... Oh. Radio Shack. Today, more than 250,000 doctors and 75 million patients are redefining modern medicine with WebMD. Practices can attend to the business of medicine with new speed and efficiency. Doctors can continue their medical education without leaving their offices. Patients can monitor their own progress. In countless ways, WebMD is helping doctors and patients to reconnect and in the process, helping to redefine modern medicine. WebMD, modern medicine. For the first time ever on DVD, The Lion King Special Edition. Good Morning America says the king of animated features is the king of DVDs. Now with a newly animated song and much more. Wow. The Lion King Special Edition. Own it today. I've made a lot of news on the baseball diamond. But if you want to find out about this diamond, you've got to go talk to your doctor. See your doctor and find out if Viagra is right for you. My doctor says it's right for me. That's why I stay with it. For more information, go to Viagra.com. Rick Helling was picked up by the Marlins as a free agent in late August. Pitched well out of the bullpen. 11 times in a game. One win, no losses, and an ERA of half a run. Here he is into the game to deal with Matsui. Runners on at first and second, one out. Hideki is four out of five in this series. Japanese fans had a chance to see this swing 50 times last year. 50 home runs in Japan. Only 16 this year, but a big one in his first one in World Series play. 
With two on, one out, Matsui takes low. Helling is a guy who used to throw to Ivan Rodriguez, who's behind the plate in their days with Texas. Second tour of duty with the Marlins. Helling was a member of the 97 Florida Marlins. Here they won the World Series and beating Cleveland. That is up and away, two balls and a strike. Very different with Matsui compared to Ichiro. And the way they travel about. Two on, one out. That's low, three and one. Joe Torre will tell you Hideki Matsui just falls into a step and into line with everybody else on the team. Ichiro, there's people around him and is a, from all indications a wonderful guy and we talked to Brett Boone about how great of a teammate he is. But he is the superstar and Matsui is just one of the Yankees. 3-1 pitch to the right side. Tough play Castillo out at second. No chance to turn two. First and third two out. And a nifty play by Luis Castillo to his left. Bernie Williams had to hold up to see if the line drive was going to be caught. Fielded on one hop. Had Williams taken off right away, perhaps he beats the throw to second base. Certainly makes it tougher. For those two middle infielders for the Marlins. Very impressive. Now it's Posada batting left handed rounded out his first time up against Redmond first and third two out. Strike one from Helen. Jeter, Jeter the runner at third he let off the inning with a hit. Walk to Bernie Williams he was forced at second Matsui runs at first. One. Velocity has been getting better and better for Helling. A couple of years ago, wasn't throwing as hard as he is now when he was pitching with Arizona. The 1-1. One, one. Two balls and a strike. This is the eighth time that Helling has pitched at Yankee Stadium. One and four record with an ERA of four and a half coming into this relief appearance. Two one pitch. Good delivery. Two and two. Breaking ball and a fastball count to Posada. A good fastball hitter. Posada thought it was low. Remember it's not where a catcher catches it but where it goes across the plate. Now the 2-2 pitch from Helling. A little wide, full count. The Marlins in their half of the fourth. And they have only one hit against Pettit. We'll have the top of the order. Good work by Helling to get out of further trouble. A hit, a walk, two left in the inning. First two stranded by the Yankees tonight. We go to the fourth inning here in game two. Still 4 0 New York. Let's say this is you. Yeah, you're the king. But being the king isn't always easy. So, when you're with Allstate, you'll have over 50,000 professionals to help protect you. From claims adjusters who can help you fix a broken castle to emergency assistance, to ride your rescue, to lawyers that go to court with you if you need them, and your Allstate agent who knows the moves to help you. Helping you, the king, feel protected. Just one more way, you're in good hands with Allstate.
The Home Depot is more than a store. It's making a great investment in your home, like new paint in the dining room, new carpet in the family room, or new appliances in the kitchen. It's also getting a great way to pay for it, because right now you'll get 10% off your first purchase when you open a new consumer credit card account at the Home Depot or Expo Design Center. Save up to $200, plus get no payments or interest for six months on all purchases of $299 or more. The Home Depot. You can do it. We can help. I've made a lot of news on the baseball diamond. But if you want to find out about this diamond, you've got to go talk to your doctor. See your doctor and find out if Viagra is right for you. My doctor says it's right for me. That's why I stay with it. For more information, go to Viagra.com. For the first time ever on DVD, the king has returned. The most critically acclaimed animated film ever. Now with a newly animated song. The Lion King Special Edition, now available for the first time ever on DVD. The World Series on Fox is brought to you by Chevy Silverado. It's the right truck. By Viagra. Step up to the plate and ask your doctor if a free sample of Viagra is right for you. By AT&T Wireless. Be at the game even if you can't be at the game. Reach out on the wireless service America trusts. And by Pepsi Cola. Experience the joy of Pepsi. Up above the overhead views of this World Series, courtesy of Saturn. Saturn and its retailers hope you're enjoying Fox's coverage of tonight's game. Top of the order for the Marlins in the fourth inning and they have to get to work. Juan Pierre first up. Even with the infield in, drops down the bunt. The throw is wide and Pierre will hold it first on what will likely be another bunt hit, his second of this World Series, and it is. Andy Pettit falling to the third base side. Pierre taking it with him like he did last night. And Pettit throws it away. Watch Pettit. Had to barehand the ball, a quick throw. And Pierre with a bunt base hit. He could basically tell you he's going to do it. He usually does, yeah. He and squares around early. You can't do anything on a bunt like that. It's nope. just put in a perfect place. It's like Brett Butler used to do it. Time Dodger, Atlanta Brave, and San Francisco Giant. Now a ground ball, diving stop by Boone, throws wide, but out at second as Soriano is able to keep his foot on the bag. One on, one out. Well, that was very close. A fine play by Soriano. On a play like that, a second baseman becomes a first baseman by stretching. And, ooh, that was close. Brilliant play by Boone to make it. And now from his knees, throws to the outfield side, and he was on the back. Good call. Ooh, ooh. Not from that angle. Not from that angle. Uh -uh. Not from that dugout angle. They thought it was two on and nobody out as Soriano's foot came off the back. Yeah, Second that, base umpire Jeff Kellogg was right there and called him out. That last shot showed uh, the left foot just off the bag on contact. If you're a first baseman, you get to cheat on a play like this, but obviously this is not cheating. Now a ground ball to Jeter, backs up, out at second, out at first, double play. What looked like the start of a promising inning. A blink later is over for the Marlins. Good infield defense by the Yankees in the inning. They get this call from the second base umpire. And only facing three is Pettit the fourth, Yankees up by four. Where's my father? Your father is in the 14th century. We need you to help get him back. The ultimate rescue will begin 
and the future will hang in the balance. Timeline. Rated PG-13. November 26th everywhere. It's far better to spend 15 seconds looking at this now than in 15 years wishing you had. Retirement. Loans. Insurance. AIG. We know money. E-server. 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 These are not normal servers. They're better than that. They adjust and predict. So you'll never see rats. For systems like Linux and other types, too. They love open standards. No kidding, it's true. For big firms and small firms. And those in the middle. E-server's the answer to your business riddle. They're flexible, bendable. Super reliable. Utterly viable. Give them a tryable. IBM E-Server X-Series features the Intel Xeon processor. How about something with a pool? A hunting lodge. Kids will love that. How about something with a pool? Lots of photos. Another way Expedia helps you find the hotel that's right for you. Expedia.com Buy The Matrix Reloaded on DVD. Action! With special features that show how the Matrix phenomenon came to life. <laughs> Upgrades. The Matrix Reloaded. Buy it now on DVD. They're young, exotic European women vying for the heart of a wealthy American cowboy. But what they don't know is the Italian villa, not his. <gasps> his fortune, not real. A lot of money, baby. And the joke's gonna be on them. How far will these women go to win a man they think is rich? She said snake. And she's gotta go. Joe Millionaire, an international affair. She's so... First pitch is swung on and fouled back by Aaron Boone, and we're underway in the bottom of the fourth inning. Boone, Nick Johnson, and Juan Rivera for the Yankees, who lead by four, trying to even this World Series at a game of peace before we all head to South Florida for game three on Tuesday night. A squirter foul. It's nothing and two. Boone is 0 for 5 in this World Series, and 6 out of 37 in the postseason. But one of those six, the game-winning home run, Game seven here on Thursday night in the ALCS. An 0-2 pitch. Three pitches. Boone is gone. Second strikeout for Helling. We already showed you the next Joe Millionaire here tonight enjoying the World Series, but what we didn't tell you is he'll be looking to fill that empty seat next to him starting tomorrow night. He can start tonight. There are plenty of candidates around him. He's going to fill that empty seat on an off day. Well, the season premiere of the next Joe Millionaire at International Fair is at 8 Eastern, 7 Central tomorrow on Fox. Pitch is low for ball one. Nick Johnson at the plate. Who will fill that seat? Up the middle, Johnson. Another base hit. He's two for two. A bunt single his first time. A Q shot up the middle here in the fourth. One on, one out. It looked like Castillo overran that ball. Helling may have had a glove on it. Watch how Castillo reaches over it. Ball stayed down. Even had he come up with it. Doubtful that he gets Johnson. So with one on one out the number nine man is Juan Rivera. He drove home the last run with a double into left center field and he crushed it. That was against the lefty Redman the starter who lasted only two and a third innings tonight. After surviving only three innings in game seven on Wednesday night in the NLCS. We saw Rivera Tim earlier in the season when he was filling in and the spot was open because of the injury to Bernie Williams. And after being sent back out and obviously figuring some things out Rivera is getting a much better swing at these pitches as we've seen him in this postseason the counts 0 and 1 he was on that Columbus shuttle the last two years Columbus the AAA affiliate of the Yankees been for years. one ball one strike 
Well, the maturation process, uh, becoming a big league hitter, is very difficult. It takes time. It takes patience. And there's usually not a lot of that around here. No. Uh-uh. Although they were willing to be patient with Rivera if only for the reason that they were trying to maybe include him in a package in a deal for a veteran. That's in foul territory for Pudge Rodriguez. And that's out number two. Runner at first, two out, Soriano coming up. Andy Pettit has 12 postseason victories, one shy of the postseason record. Tonight's MasterCard trivia question, who holds the record for the most wins in the World Series. Forget all that postseason stuff. We're just talking World Series. Just the series. Apples to apples. That is Bill Webb's subliminal hint. One on, two out. Strike one on Soriano. Soriano has been up 56 times in postseason play and has struck out 19 times. Walked only once. Make it twice with that first walk of the first. 0 oh 2. Subliminable hints here in the fourth inning. I wish I had this kind of help when I was in high school. There you go. Somewhere in your mind. Somewhere in the depths of your mind back at home, you were just given the answer to the MasterCard trivia question. The 0 2 pitch, ball one. Did you catch it? Did you see a picture flash across your face? I think I saw it there. Uh, the answer flash on your card. That's supposed to reveal that I know the answers to all these questions that we keep asking, including who has better nightlife, New York or Miami? One ball, two strikes with Johnson at first, two out. Soriano rolls the wrists, hits it deep, and gets it out. Six nothing New York in the fourth. They were all screaming for Soriano to be moved from the leadoff spot. He's been on base twice tonight and just hit his first home run of this postseason. Now it's Derek Jeter with two out, nobody on. Strike one. That was a flat slider from Rick Helling. Reaction of Helling dropping the head as Soriano drops the bat head. Now the 0 1 to Jeter. Inside. And how those guys figure out those. Little salute handshakes. <laughs> I'll never about. know. Yeah. <laughs> do you and Gibson do that after a big strikeout? Uh, no. No. We touch hands once, then we wiggle our fingers, and we touch hands again. Took too long to learn it. Two balls and a strike. Actually, it was Ron Rivera who wasn't even here all year. I mean, this is a guy who spent time in the minor leagues. Ding, 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 ding. Yes, hello. Thank you. Nice home run. Two balls and a strike. With two out, Jeter. Bulls went over to third, foul, two and two. Three in the first for the Yankees, one in the second, two more here in the fourth. And Andy Pettit is not thinking about runs that he's getting in support, but thinking about what he has to do on the mound with his head bowed in the dugout. Cabrera, Lee, and Lowell coming up, the four, five, and six hitters for Florida in the fifth inning. Mm -hmm. 
Helling still shaking his head. To the shortstop, Gonzalez to his left. The Yankees are trying to even this series at a game of peace. Would have been dire straits for New York if they headed to Florida down 2-0. But the bats are waking up for the Yankees in game two. Back after this from your local Fox station. Tonight on the Fox 11 10 o'clock news, when will the wheels roll again? Live with the latest on talks with the MTA and the Mechanics Union. Plus, former nba -er turned gigantic jockey, why Manute Bowl is joining the race horse crowd tonight at 10. What if it had DVD navigation and laser-guided cruise control? What if it had a rear-view monitor to see what lies behind? And one of the most advanced all-wheel drive systems in the world to propel you ahead? What if has become what is? The FX from Infinity. The first laser, the first transistor, the first communication satellite. Now, as we stand on the verge of a whole new era, our mission continues. We're investing in people and breakthrough technology. A $3 billion investment plan this year to enhance the communications network that government and millions of American businesses and families have come to rely on. Hi, our seats are in different rows. And how may I help you today? Greetings, Miss Colon. Valued passenger name here. Like we say, the customer is always XPTL9. Backslash? At Alaska Airlines, technology doesn't come at the expense of common courtesy. That's the spirit of Alaska. Imagine one day you realized everyone was imitating you, mimicking your every move, trying to be just like you. Now you know what it must feel like to be the Accord from Honda. Often imitated, never equaled. We move into the fifth inning, and it's a 6 0 Yankee lead. It will be the heart of the order. Cabrera, Lee, and Lowell against Andy Pettit, who keeps throwing strikes. Pettit has struck out four. Allowed no runs on two hits. He's had two double plays turned behind him, actually one in front of him and behind him on a strike him out throw him out double play in the first the 0 1 left side tough play for Boone and he can't make it see if that goes as a hit or an error it would have taken a phenomenal play from Aaron Boone to get the out and we wait on the official scorers ruling after this Cabrera is not a fast runner ball did come up on Boone and it's going to be charged an error on Aaron Boone. So after making that fine play to force the air at second base on the ball hit by, by Castillo, Aaron Boone makes an error. Well, they just threw that ball out of play at the behest of Miguel Cabrera and the Marlins, thinking that was a hit, but it goes as an error. So instead of his first World Series hit, that ball end up in batting practice on Tuesday night. <laughs> it's an error on Boone and his third of the postseason. Again, that would have been some kind of play if he came up with that. And on the dead run, got Cabrera at first. Strike one to Derek Lee. Lee flied out to right his first time up. Florida trying to break through somehow, some way against Pettit. Oh and two on Lee. 
That's that cut fastball. That is vintage Pettit. As you can see, when right handed hitters put that in play, they're going to put it in play on the left side of the infield. The 0 2. Andy Pettit gave up 16 unearned runs this year. And normally, ground ball pitchers will give up more unearned runs than fly ball pitchers simply because there are more errors made on ground balls than fly balls. There are no bad hops in the air. One ball, two strikes on Lee. Runner at first, nobody out, and Lee strikes out. That's strikeout number five for Andy Pettit. Our game summary is brought to you by John Hancock as we play here in the fifth inning. It's six nothing New York Matsui a three run home run with two out in the first inning on a 3 0 pitch Soriano went deep and Andy Pettit on three days rest is pitching very well here in the first four plus innings. A cutter under the bat of Derek Lee. Yeah both home runs the three run shot by Matsui the two run shot by Soriano were hit with two outs. One on one out here for Lowell. A gifted third baseman is Mike Lowell. Had a great year with a bat. Nice pick by Nick Johnson on that ball thrown in the dirt by Posada, who's trying to match Pudge Rodriguez. I was thinking the same thing. When you are paired against a guy like Pudge Rodriguez, you can't help but be influenced by him. Even though the Yankees are six runs up, Posada taking a shot at first. You're looking down there again as it counts two balls and a strike. But just to see the reaction by Joe Torrey, and I know your reaction when you talk about the ability and the cat like reflexes that Pudge Rodriguez has behind the plate. Salivate. Here's a 2 1 pitch from Pettit. Lowell squirts it to short. Jeter has only one play. It's at first, two out. And Conine will be the hitter. Play Hit the Pros presented by Chevy Silverado and face real pitches from today's best hurlers. Log on to FoxSports.com, keyword games. Chevy Silverado is the right truck. Jeff Conine steps in to hit with a runner at second, two out. Conine struck out his first time. Takes a breaking ball, hits it to center. Bernie Williams flies back. And the inning comes to a close. Andy Pettit setting him up and knocking him down. Gets around a leadoff error halfway through game two. Six nothing New York. I think my mom and dad are going to live to be 200. Because they're very special people in my world. Not having parents would be hard because he would be stinky because he wouldn't have a bath. A soldier who lost all he fought for. What do you want from me? Will find a way of life. What do you want for yourself? Worth dying for. The way of the samurai. Tom Cruise. The Last Samurai. Rated R. Starts December 5th. Did we make a beer with half the carbs of Bud Light taste good? No. We made it taste great. Miller Lite. Great taste. Less filling. 
unsurpassed engineering, unparalleled technology. Champion, Mach 3 Turbo Champion, the world's best shave, guaranteed. Now with a red-hot new look, test drive one today. Mach 3 Turbo Champion from Gillette. Hey mama, this that beat that make you move mama Get on the floor and move your booty mama We the blast masters blasting up the jump Cutie cutie, make sure you move your booty Shake that tin, now the city I've seen none Hey shawty, I know you wanna party And the way your body looking make me really feel naughty It'll be the three, four, and five hitters for the Yankees Giambi, Bernie Williams, and Hideki Matsui against Rick Kelly Fouled out of play for strike one. You wonder if a guy like Helling or if somebody else will get an opportunity when this spot in the rotation comes up again for Florida. If you consider Redmond lasted only three innings on Wednesday in game seven in Chicago and only two and a third here tonight. Giambi didn't get it all. And Encarnacion comes on for out number one. Giambi now 0 for 2, hit by a pitch. He scored a run tonight. Bernie Williams will dig in. <laughs> it would be a game six start for Andy Pettit if this series lasts that long. Back here at Yankee Stadium, where Andy Pettit so far this postseason is 2 0. Florida, Florida does have the option of uh, having Dontrell Willis as a starter. He, by the way, is available tonight. But, of course, the Marlins have a long way to go before he becomes available because they're trailing by six. One out, nobody on. Williams takes the ball. I, I think on the other side of that argument with Dontrell Willis is you've got Michael Tejera did not fare well against left-handed batters during the regular season. They hit 392 against him. You've got some left-handed thunder in this lineup for the Yankees. I would imagine Jack McKeon would love to have Dontrell Willis for that right spot to bring out of the bullpen in a key moment to get a left-handed batter or two out. So he'll probably keep him there. That's, pro that's probably right. Then you bring Redmond back if it goes to six against Andy Pettit. One one pitch is outside. A guy like Helling can get a start. That's why I say as he pitches here tonight, it's at least an opportunity to show what he can do here at Yankee Stadium. Pavano is due to pitch in game four after the electrifying 23 year old Josh Beckett in game three against Messina. Beckett. Pitched a complete game shutout in game five last Sunday and then three days later went four innings allowed one run on 45 pitches to get to Urbina in game seven at Wrigley Field in the victory over Chicago. With that extra work that pushed him to game three on Tuesday night. The 2 2 pitch to Bernie Williams. Williams singled and scored in the first, walked in the third. Breaks low, 3 and 2. Yankees trying to win their 27th World Championship in a little over 80 years. 26 times. They just won the pennant for the sixth time. In eight years with Joe Torre and 39th time overall. A 3 2 pitch to Williams. To the left side for Lowell. Has to hurry and gets Bernie Williams for out number two. Our Pepsi fan cam. As we play here at the bottom of the fifth inning of game number two. Mayor Giuliani to Dusty Baker. 
Dave Chesney with a look of love. Happy birthday. Ozzie Smith. Osborne Earl Smith. To Don Mattingly. As with two out, nobody on, Hideki Matsui bats. And takes a ball. Matsui, the biggest swing of the night, a three run home run in the first inning. One ball, one strike. Down the left field line, slicing toward the seats, and out of play for strike two. Since 1996, Joe Torre's first year, these Yankees have lost game one of a playoff series eight times. Then they've come back to win seven of those eight series. They've done it twice this postseason against Minnesota and against Boston. And Suey checks it, two balls, two strikes. Chad Fox, the right-hander. Cranks it up. A little surprised to see Chad Fox up in this situation. Thank Maybe you. to get some work. Yeah, I think that's the only reason why is Matt Suey hits it into right center field. Well hit again. Back at the track, it's Encarnacion to haul in out number three. We go to the sixth inning. Andy Pettit back to the hill. The Yankees having fun tonight in game two. They lead 6-6. Introducing Pepsi Vanilla, the perfect blend of cola and vanilla. That was awesome. That's not so vanilla. Mama! Did you see who took your sister? You were uh... This November. Can you track him? Yeah, he can track him. How far would you go to get back what you've lost? Go home, you understand? You have to kill me first. Tommy Lee Jones, Kate Blanchett, from director Ron Howard. Missing. Rated R. Starts November 19th in New York and L.A. Opens everywhere November 26th. A truck like this isn't built in a factory. It's built in the farms and fields, concrete streets and construction sites that map the landscape of an entire country. Because when Ford builds the new F-150, there are promises to keep. And only one truck earned the right to be the next F-150. If you haven't looked at Ford lately, look again. Right here, right now, there is no other place I'd rather be. It's in the cake. I, I come on now. Right here, right now. Hey, this is the place. It's in the cake. Okay. I I waited, waited, waited. Hey! Right here, right now. Hey, 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 yeah. Right here, right now. Come on now. This is the place where I right here, be. right now, Kmart. Matsui just flied to the track in right. Lee Mazzilli, the first base coach, asked Matsui this. It breaks. That breaks. It did break. We have video proof as Encarnacion takes a pitch inside for ball one. Clearly splintered. Still got it out to the track as Encarnacion was there to catch it. The 
didn't see Matsui look down after he made contact. He knew it was broken, and it's what usually happens when you hit it on the trademark. Here's a 1 1 pitch to Encarnacion. Tied, two balls and a strike from Pettit. Just so you know, it's usually the first question that's asked of Joe Torre every night. What about Rivera? How many innings would Joe Torre use Rivera if the situation came up? If they need him, he is available for two innings tonight. But right now, it's 6 0 New York as the count goes to 3 and 1 on Encarnacion. Worked three innings on Thursday night in the Game 7 victory over Boston. A leadoff walk puts Encarnacion aboard, and that's the first walk of the night. Handed out by Andy Pettit. The in-game box score for the Marlins is brought to you by AT&T Wireless. Pierre, a bunt single back in the fourth inning. Castillo, an infield single in the first. Other than that, a lot of zeros. You can add a walk for Encarnacion, who's on to start the sixth. Here's Gonzalez. Gets a look at that Pettit pickoff move. There is no way, however, that Encarnacion can be picked off in this situation. Trailing by six. Perhaps told that by Perry Hill, the first base coach. Strike one on Gonzalez. You know, if you're Aaron Boone, you better get your rest. The night before an Andy Pettit start because the third baseman's going to be busy with all those pitches diving down and into those right handed batters. One ball one strike after the leadoff walk to Encarnacion. Fox is ready to go out in that Marlin bullpen foul back strike two great buzz in this city for the opening next month of Tennessee Williams cat on a hot tin roof Jason Patrick the star with Ed Beatty and Ashley Judd the Yankee fan watching here tonight Yankee crowd trying to make some noise as Pettit has two strikes on Alex Gonzalez. High heat got it by him. Strikeout number six for Pettit. Even though the Yankees are up by six runs, an important out, the first out of the sixth inning with Juan Pierre coming up. <laughs> Jeffrey Loria, the owner of the Florida Marlins, is living and dying with every pitch with his team down by six here in the sixth inning. And here is Pierre with a runner at first one out. Pierre, a bunt hit his last time up. Flinching on the breaking ball that stays up and in ball one. Pierre with 204 hits, 168 of which were singles. Most of the majors. On the inside corner, one and one. We just saw Jeffrey Loria, who's the owner of this Marlins team, used to own the Montreal Expos. And at one point during a long road trip this season, Loria was with the ball club. They weren't playing well. They had a one and nine trip. Pierre chops it foul, and in the middle of it, Jeffrey Loria said, you know what we're going to do for a little diversion? We're going to take the plane, the charter, to Vegas. You guys get off. They went to the Bellagio, spent three hours, blew off a little steam, got back on the charter, and then went to Pittsburgh and got swept by the Pirates. Heartwarming story about the Marlins' 2003 regular season. One ball, two strikes. 
far inside, two and two. Left handed batters batting 321 against Pettit this year. And Andy doing a much better job coming inside the left handers in the postseason. Marlins trying to get something going, trying to do it with Pierre at the plate. And a slow roller for Johnson. Pierre, there's nowhere to go, Juan. Two out, down to second is Encarnacion. Back inside. <laughs> Pierre looking down at Encarnacion. I'm thinking he had a chance to go to third, no way. So now Castillo will step to the plate. One for two tonight. I guess you'd have to have a gambler's mentality to jump from the Expos to the Marlins. The one thing that Jack McKeon talked about last night before the game is Castillo is taking all the way, and it's a ball. We talked about it. He was managing the Reds to salivate at the kind of young talent that was brought here really by Dave Dombrowski, who was the general manager and the guy in charge of dismantling that 97 World Championship team. They brought some young talent over, and it finally blossomed this season. Dave Dombrowski now, the general manager of the Detroit Tigers, off a horrible horrible season 119 losses for the Tigers this year signed by the Marlins at age 16 after fielding one ground ball in the tryout didn't take long I guess to realize the kind of talent that, that my gosh I'd have a shot to sign with the Marlins I could I would field one ground ball Two balls and a strike on Luis Castillo. It's kind of a throwback team, these Marlins, with the speed at the top. Kind of a whitey ball. Cardinals, early to mid 80s, the Montreal Expos. A lot of AstroTurf teams who would get on, run, get them over, drive them in with a ground out or sack fly. The Marlins doing it the old way. A 2 1. To the left side, Jeter got a tough hop and gets the out. A leadoff walk. Andy Pettit pumped up as he gets around it. Bottom of the sixth inning rolls in. Yankees bat up by six. When quality matters, reach out on the wireless service America trusts. AT&T Wireless. Your father is in the 14th century. We need you to help get him back. Journey to a place. I'm going. Where time stops and terror begins. Paul Walker, Timeline. Rated PG-13. Starts November 26th everywhere. What can a pitching machine teach us about financial advisors? Working with one can leave you better prepared. At Wachovia Securities, we learn from the world around us and provide financial advice for whatever comes your way. 
Together, we can achieve uncommon results. Wachovia Securities. This beer has half the carbs of Bud Light. This beer is the gold medal winner of the World Beer Cup. Amazingly, they're the same beer. Miller Light. Great taste, less filling. Introducing the new full-size 305 horsepower Nissan Pathfinder Amata. It's got room for eight people and all their stuff. It's a full-size SUV for your full-size adventures. Chad Fox takes over the numbers this postseason, and you talk about a guy who was filled a role for Jack McKeon and the Marlins. This is the guy cut loose by Boston. He didn't have room for a guy that threw in the mid 90s with a good breaking ball in that Boston bullpen. In the middle part of the season the Marlins picked him up. He's the real right handed setup man for Urbina a guy that Jack McKeon in a tight game likes to bring out of the bullpen with runners on two balls no strikes on Posada. Jack McKeon who grew up 25 miles away from here in Jersey as a kid would come to this stadium and the polo grounds to watch Major League Baseball. There's a strike three and one. Shot at tanks ball four a lead off walk. Chad Fox isn't happy with that Johnson Lake Nebraska hello. Fans from everywhere enjoying. This World Series here in the Bronx. And here's Aaron Boone who is hitless tonight. Boone is flying to right struck out. over the low ball one interesting when you compare the managers of these two teams Joe Torre signing with the Milwaukee Braves back in 1958 his brother Frank Torre of course played first base for the Braves in the 1957 series had a good one Jack McKean on the other hand was a playing manager that same year in 1958 managing the Missoula Timberjacks our pal Jim Cott, whom Jack will see tomorrow in South Florida, was a pitcher, 19-year-old pitcher for the Missoula team. Bob Euchre was a catcher in that league that year, catcher for Boise. Jack, a playing manager as a 27-year-old when Torrey signed with the Milwaukee Braves. He said... I knew the guys that I wanted to spend time with that Jim Cott. I knew he was going to be a good one. I didn't spend time with those other donkeys. I knew wouldn't make it to the big leagues. <laughs> the two one pitch Boone goes after it two and two and Aaron Boone really struggling with his swing. The only ball that he made great contact with was the knuckleball of Tim Wakefield in the 11th inning on Thursday night. That one swing makes up for a lot of outs. A leadoff walk. And now a full count as Fox is having a tough time throwing strikes. Bravano is joined by Tejera out of the Marlins bullpen. Bravano, as we mentioned, is due to pitch. On Wednesday night in game four. Made a solid game six started Wrigley. Runner goes. Boone strikes out. Throw down is in time. A strike him out. Throw him out. Double play. And the ex catcher of 20 plus years groans. Oh, the 
balance. As he watches this incredible throw from Pudge Rodriguez. Off balance, throwing the ball over Aaron Boone, and a strike to get Posada. A wink and a hug. <laughs> Ten time Gold Glove Award winner. Tied with Johnny Bench for the most ever at that position. And there's a strike in at the knees to Nick Johnson. Remarkable throw to get Nick Johnson at third base with two outs last night. A base running blunder by Johnson. But I think that throw over Aaron Boone was a better throw because of the obstacle of throwing it over Boone but keeping it low enough to get to second base in time. Man. Ridiculous. It's almost making you mad, isn't it? <laughs> Gosh. Here it is one more time. I mean, Boone swings through the pitch, and now he throws it over Boone, who ducks slightly. But it's got to be low enough to get there in time, and it's right on the money. How do you do that? From one knee. Two one pitch to Nick Johnson, three and one. Can you imagine if Carlton had a catcher who could have done that? <laughs> That's into right center field off the bat of Nick Johnson. It's going to get all the way to the wall, and Johnson has his third hit of the night. It's a double. With two out here in the sixth. All started with a butt base hit back in the second inning. The first of three for Johnson with a couple of runs scored. Nick entering tonight's game, batting 163 in the postseason. You don't get in a slump in one night. You don't get out of it in one night. And Nick understands that. Juan Rivera now the number nine hitter. One for two an RBI double back in the second. Good breaking ball to Rivera. Strike one. That's that tightly wrapped slider from Fox. It looks like a splitter. Rivera missed that by a foot. Mm -hmm. The gum is always perilously close to falling out of the mouth of Chad Fox as he works, especially in October. The 0 1 pitch. Into right center field, that ball carrying to Pierre. Right in front of the track to end the inning. We go to the seventh. Fox made it difficult on himself. Rodriguez shows his wares behind the plate again. Gotcha. Back after this from your local Fox station. Tonight on the Fox 11 10 o'clock news, Governor-elect Schwarzenegger and California's next first lady lend public support to a worthy cause. Plus... So, what does an $11 million bra look like? Hang on, I'll show you. Just kidding. At 10. Introducing the all-new Nissan Quest, a revolutionary minivan featuring five Skyview windows, an innovative center console, automated side and rear lift doors, and fold away second and third row seats. Moms have changed. Shouldn't the minivan? Some people drive just to get from point A to point B. These guys, well, they were looking to get someplace else. That place where it all comes together. A place we call point D. And we help them get there. With Dunlop, makers of European performance tires for over a hundred years. Dunlop, get to point D. All Dunlop tires are on sale now. Call 1-866-DUNLOP-1. I was on a 300-minute wireless plan. Some months I'd be under by 100. 
Did I get to pay less? No. Did I get to keep those minutes? No. But if I went over, slammed with a bill almost twice as high. Frustrating? Yeah. Only Singular lets you roll over unused anytime minutes so you avoid paying big overages once you talk more. They're your minutes. Keep them. Now get rollover on national plans and a cool Motorola clip phone. I call it Mike. They're my minutes. I'm keeping them. Plan. Coming to find out how Singular fits you best. In California, there are over 10,000 detectable seismic incidents every year. We apologize. <laughs> Presenting Truck Month at your California Dodge dealer, where we'll rock your world with 0% financing for 48 months, plus $1,500 cash allowance on 2003 trucks, including the Dodge Ram. Or get a groundbreaking $4,500 cash allowance on any 2003 truck. You'll also get our 770 powertrain limited warranty. Truck Month, shaking things up at your California Dodge dealer. <laughs> Top of the seventh inning, six nothing New York. Yvonne Rodriguez, who just showed off how brilliant he can be behind the plate, will lead it off. <laughs> Giving a wink back to his dugout when he took care of Posada running on a 3 2 pitch. At the bottom of the sixth inning takes a strike. He has become a team leader. He has matured. He has taken the reins for Jack McKeon, a former catcher. Steve Lyons is with us. Steve. Well, Joe, you talked about uh, Rodriguez giving the wink and a hug. Many viewers from last night's ball game may have seen him give a little peck on the cheek to Uget Urbina after the ball game. That's something they said they've done in the past. They're very, very good friends. He says it means nothing. It's just all about Latin passion and enthusiasm for the game and true friendship. Joe. Another angle. Thank you, Steve. Two balls and a strike on Pudge Rodriguez. Two balls, two strikes. Talk about how the Marlins signed Luis Castillo when he was 16. Miguel Cabrera also signing when he was 16. Marlins have concentrated their scouting areas in Latin America because 35% of their fan base, their first language, is Spanish. 2 2 pitch is chopped foul. They have one of the greatest broadcasters ever, Felo Ramirez, oh, yeah. who takes the travels with this Marlins team, a Hall of Famer. A guy who a lot of these Marlin players respect and look up to. You're calling these games in Spanish back to South Florida. Two balls, two strikes. Yvonne Rodriguez, 0 for 2 tonight. Has anybody paid attention to the fact that Andy Pettit is working on a two hit shutout? Gone about his business. He struck out six. He's walked only one. The Yankees have turned two double plays. Pitch count is down. Three days rest. And he's happy to get out of the way of that line drive off the bat of Rodriguez. Leadoff man is on, and the Marlins have proven time after time that they do not quit as they bat here in the seventh. Once again, tonight's MasterCard trivia question Who holds the record? For the most wins in the World Series. After our hint, blatant and subliminal, the answer is Whitey Ford with 10. Now, with a leadoff man on, here's Miguel Cabrera. Still hitless in this World Series, even though he thought he had one his last time up. It was ruled as an error. Lower left. Breaking ball in for a strike. Depending on whether the Yankees win or lose for fans in South Florida that aren't familiar with it after the game here at Yankee Stadium. Ground ball to third. That's a fair ball. Cabrera doesn't run and it's an easy double play. Cabrera didn't run. Got halfway down the line as that ball stayed fair. Talked about Aaron Boone and how alert he has to be. 
He completed the play. Cabrera didn't. Looking back at the umpire, he now doesn't run hard. The only explanation is he thought it hit him. I guess in the batter's box as that ball went right over the bag. Yeah, Boone fielded it in foul territory, but it went over the bag. But Cabrera I, I, didn't run before that ball got to the I bag. I think what he may have been pointing to was his left foot. Oh, it yeah. Did. Yeah, it did hit his foot. The ball hit his left ankle. So instead of a foul ball, it's a double play. No wonder Cabrera didn't run. The home plate umpire cannot see it, but watch his left ankle. That ball definitely hit him. And once it hits him, it's a foul ball. So trickling down to third, Aaron Boone completing the play, and the Yankees get two outs. And Cabrera. Explaining as best he can. He turned around as Lee hits one in the air to right. That ball's got a chance at the wall. It's caught by Rivera. And a bad break for Florida in this seventh inning. They get a leadoff fit. They have their cleanup man on. He hits a foul ball off his left ankle. It somehow stays fair. And instead of a strike, it's a 5-4-3 double play. Andy Pettit, a three-hit shutout through seven. Time to stretch. 6-0 Yankees. Let's see. I bought yellow pencils, yellow post-it notes, yellow boxers, yellow boxers. $14. Land career, air career, pedicure, reader. $137. Two printers, two scanners, two tutus. $540. <laughs> Keeping business expenses separate from personal expenses? Priceless. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Apply online for the MasterCard business card. Sometimes you need a little help staying in the game. Ask your doctor about new Levitra. But once you get in the zone, it's good. Ask your doctor if a new choice is right for you. Ask about new Levitra. We engineered a material behind the dash called Quiet Steel. Only the new Ford F-150 has it, which means it's the only truck to deliver this. The sound of quality. The sound of the quietest pickup, period. Only this truck earned the right to be the next F-150. If you haven't looked at Ford lately, look again. Real man of genius. Bud Light salutes you, Mr. Footlong Hot Dog Inventor. Mr. Footlong Hot Dog Inventor. When conventional wisdom said no one could make a hot dog longer than six inches, you dared to dream. Dared to dream. The crowd cheered your 10-inch wiener. Wait, you said. I can give you two more inches. Oh, so make it a Bud Light, mister, for giving us all a bigger wiener. Thank you. How many more people do you have to hurt? Don't miss TV's biggest event. Show me what you got. The season finale, Nip Tuck, this week only on FX. Someone's threatening to initiate an outbreak of a very deadly virus. To stop a weapon that has no cure. They found a body that's been infected. You need a man who knows no limits. Just do it now! The season premiere of 24, Tuesday, October 28th on Fox. Presented without commercial interruption by the next Ford F-150. From the mountains to the bridge.
Ronan Tynan with God Bless America here at Yankee Stadium. And on the heels of that beautiful rendition, which he delivers night after night, we at Fox Sports wish to extend our condolences to Kevin Hallinan. He is the Senior Vice President of Security and Facility Management for Major League Baseball. Kevin's wife, Joan, passed away yesterday, and all of our thoughts and prayers are with the Hallinan family. As a new pitcher enters out of the bullpen for the Florida Marlins we remind you that these overhead views are provided by Saturn the team at Saturn hopes you're enjoying this unique look from high above Yankee Stadium and invites you to click on Saturn.com for a look at all their new 2004 lineup. The World Series on Fox is brought to you by Bud Light for the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down make it a Bud Light. Here at Yankee Stadium, Carl Pavano takes over. But an interesting thing happened here two days ago. We showed you Juan Pierre, who came out a couple of hours before his teammates arrived on the team bus on the workout day. We showed you rolling the ball, showed him rolling the ball down the foul lines to check if it's tilted one way or another. He was knocking the ball off the wall in the outfield to check the carom out in center field. And then he took a moment with teammate Michael Tejera walking around Monument Park, not Mike, but we listened in. Oh, Billy Martin. That was the him money, right? Louisiana Lightning. Yeah? Oh. From Louisiana, but. <laughs> hometown about boy. Hour, yeah. Hometown boy. About an hour away from where I'm from. They put Mickey Rivers up here. <laughs> this is history here, baby. Yeah. Biggest stage right here. Can't get a bigger stage to play on. No. A little more than 24 hours later, he would be crucial to the Marlins' victory in game one, scoring the first run, driving in the next two, and a 3 2 win. Tonight, though, the story is Andy Pettit. And the Yankee bats coming alive. Soriano is at the plate dealing with Carl Pavano. Soriano tonight has walked and caught stealing, struck out, and hit a two run home run. That is hit hard but foul. One ball, one strike. Fox went one inning, no runs, one hit, a double, one strikeout, one walk. And now Pavano, who is due to pitch on Wednesday night. In game four gets a little taste of this World Series before he makes that start against Roger Clemens. A 1 1 to Soriano. Strike two. Carl Pavano, through association, has had a taste of greatness before. 1998, and you were there, Joe. Mark McGuire's 70th home run. Carl gave that up. A couple of years before that, traded from Boston to Montreal for Pedro Martinez. Those are two pretty good brushes with greatness right there. And that's a pretty good fastball over the outside corner for strike three as it comes back. Catches the corner on Soriano, at least according to Larry Young, the home plate umpire. One out, nobody on. That's a pitch you can afford to make when you're way ahead in the count. Notice Rodriguez setting up off the plate and taking into consideration that tail on the fastball. It looked a little outside, but no argument from Soriano. Now Jeter, one for three with a single in the third inning. He's grounded out. He's struck out. Started to say last half inning that at the end of the game here at Yankee Stadium, they play either Liza Minnelli's version or Frank Sinatra's version of New York, New York. Off the outside part 2 and 0. Oh. They play Liza after they lose and Frank after they win. We heard Liza last night. 
The 2 0 pitch. 2 and 1. Now that inspired rendition as they're both taken every time Ronan Tynan sings God Bless America. So inspirational. But we talked about how the Marlins are have built up their scouting in Latin America, how it's 13 hours difference in Japan. Hideki Matsui, one of their heroes, three run homer tonight. Well, when this game started, it was 3 a.m. as Derek Jeter gets hit on the left ankle, I believe. It's 3 a.m. in Baghdad. And our troops are watching tonight's game through our international feed, taking our feed, actually. Barry Thorne, Rick Sutcliffe for the calls. 5.15 a.m. Certainly while we watch and those play the game, that caught him on the right knee. Right knee. Jeter right back into the box. Two balls, two strikes. We hope to present a little diversion with what we're all faced with over in Iraq. So watching in Baghdad as we play here in New York for the series about to shift to South Florida. Travel day tomorrow. Game three on Tuesday night, and the Yankees trying to even the series before we all get on planes. Jeter walks away before they appeal. And the first base umpire, Gary Darling, says he went two strikeouts to start the inning. Major League Baseball Ultimate World Series pass. Game two winning number is what you see displayed here. Your hologram number matches the one shown here. You are eligible to claim a $10,000. U.S. shopping spree at Radio Shack. Or just $10,000 U.S. shopping spree at Radio Shack. That's the opposite way off the bat of Giambi into the corner, takes a hop off the wall, and it's a two out double. So Giambi trying to find his stroke. Is lined out tonight, gets his first hit. It's a double. To left field. Well, that's how a lot of hitters find their stroke. They go the other way. That front shoulder is so important in hitting. And when you hit a ball like that, the outside part of the plate, the other way, it puts that shoulder in the proper position. And when you have it in the proper position, closed, a lot of things good happen. You can see right on the sweet part of the bat for Jason Giampi as he doubles to left. And so with two out, the inning continues for, for Bernie Williams, who has singled and scored, walked and grounded out. Braden Looper, the hard-throwing right-hander. Michael Tahara, the lefty, getting ready. Levano misses with ball one. I wouldn't imagine the Marlins would want to extend Pavano too far either within this seventh or beyond the seventh with a start coming up in a couple of days. No. Andy Pettit has been dominant. 2 0 now on Bernie Williams. Another reason I'm a little surprised that Jack McKean chose Pavano tonight. In a six run ball game, as you give the Yankees a chance to see. Him. And the guys who get their look at him, the big bats in this lineup Soriano, Jeter, Giambi, Williams. Williams reaches, it'll be Matsui. And he is one pitch out of the strike zone away from making that happen. 3 0. The only reason to go with Pavano in this spot would be just to get him some live game action before that start on Wednesday night. Otherwise, 6 nothing game as he walks Bernie Williams. We'll see if that's it for Pavano. Perhaps our audience is thinking, well, Pavano has a chance to see the Yankee hitters also. That's true. 
but generally speaking when neither has seen the other the pitcher has the advantage. So Matsui will get a look at Pavano here with two on two out even with the lefty Tahara ready in the Marlin bullpen. Strike one. Pavano started game six of the NLCS on Tuesday night. Through 86 pitches. Kept the Marlins in the game. That was the game started by Mark Pryor. And they eventually came up with eight in the eighth. One ball, one strike. Two on with two out, one ball, one strike on Matsui. Strike two. Roger Clemens will have plenty of rest before his game four start. His mound opponent is in the middle of the diamond right now. Giambi and Williams are on. Two out. And the one two to Matsui. Two balls, two strikes. Roger Clemens will have a chance to hit on Wednesday night. Obviously, all Yankee pitchers will. The last time Roger Clemens was at bat during the World Series was game seven of the 2001 World Series. He started against Kurt Schilling. That game, of course, won in the bottom of the ninth by Luis Gonzalez. The Diamondbacks were the world champions. He went over two. Think, I remember one line drive. He hit the right field. Is that right? As you're checking your book, he struck out, and he. I just have fly to right. I don't know if it was a line drive or a fly ball. As far as Rogers concerned, it was a line yeah. drive. That memory left me a long time ago. Here's a 2 2. And Suey grounds to second. Castillo, a tough play as the ball stayed down. And to his left, Luis makes the play, gets the out. We go to the eighth inning of game two. Andy Pettit back to the hill, working on a three hit shutout, leading by six. Introducing the new full-size Nissan Pathfinder Armada. With room for eight, who will you bring? Hey, hey, man. Hey, you better get up. No way. Hey, man, oh. come on. Cutting class. Class? Take notes for me. Man, you're dreaming. You're gonna be late for work. College is over. Rise and shine. Tick tock. Welcome to the real world. A place where the same state farm agent you've always counted on for great rates on car insurance can help with information on credit cards, renter's insurance, even auto loans. Wireless troubles? My phone works here, not there. Same with voicemail, email. Sprint is different. All your services work the same wherever you go on the most complete all digital advanced wireless network in the nation. And all the calls are clear. So everything works. And this will never happen again. PCS from Sprint. Try the nation's most complete wireless network. In a world about to change, one man must rise up and lead. 
AOL 9.0 optimized, exploding onto a screen near you. Reviewers rave. It's the internet simplified, streamlined, and sanitized for your protection. The filters drastically cut spam. The critics agree. AOL returns to the top with new version 9.0. Life needs rave reviews. We are selling a lifestyle, a fantasy. My daughter is a good kid. I love you. This isn't about political expedience. It's about doing what's right. Let's take him down. I love you, Adam. I love you, too. His father is the district attorney. He wants to destroy my business. Why does it matter what our parents are? Everything we have done is at risk. You insult my husband in my home? The rich man's dead. The DA's son and the pornographer's daughter, they would ruin me. I think he did the right thing today. I think the public will too. Anyone this obsessed must have a dark side. He thinks I smell an affair. In just one day. What have I done? From executive producer Jerry Bruckheimer, Skin. The series premiere at 9, 8 central tomorrow on Fox. Susan St. James on your right with a guest here at game two of this World Series. And other. Come on, that's Dick Ebersol. Man who runs NBC Sports. With a Yankee stocking cap on as ball one is outside to Mike Lowell. It'll be Lowell, Conan, and Encarnacion. Line drive is a base hit into right field. The Marlins put their leadoff man on for the last five innings. A hit here in the eighth, a hit in the seventh, a walk in the sixth, an error in the fifth, a base hit in the fourth. However, they have yet to string anything together as Conine steps in 0 for 2. And this inning a lot different from any of the past five innings because if Pettit gets in trouble, Mariano Rivera is waiting in the wings. A man who has been close to unhittable in postseason play. We've mentioned it in the division series. We've done it in the ALCS. It's worth bringing up again. Andy Pettit may get another start in this World Series. It would come in game six. As Jose Contreras walks down to get loose is a free agent to be Andy Pettit. And his price keeps going up with these Yankees. The job that he has done this postseason. A 1 0 pitch. I'm sure Joe Torre is in no rush to show the Marlin hitters Mariano Rivera. Good point. If he can avoid it. First of all, Rivera's coming off a three inning outing on Thursday night, but he's, he's had enough rest. And as Gabe White joins Contreras, there's nothing wrong with a little mystery if you're Joe Torrey with regard to Rivera and these hitters. Strike two on Kona. Yeah, so it's reasonable to assume that Rivera would only get in the game, obviously, if the Marlins score three or four runs right now. One ball, two strikes on Kona. Pettit has struck out six, walked only one, and allowed four hits. Two and two. Encarnacion is next, then Gonzalez, then back to the top, Juan Pierre. Pitching on the hands of Conine and he fights it off. That's a stat pack. And who's looking at him? Kareem Garcia.
Well, it wouldn't take much more for the Marlins to get their first real excitement of the night offensively against Andy Pettit. Here's Josh Beckett. He will start on Tuesday night. Late swing and a miss, 91 mile an hour fastball, and strikeout number seven for Pettit. Conine may be chasing ball four, but certainly close enough to swing. Now it's Encarnacion, one on, one out. Juan is struck out and walked. Breaking ball in for a strike. Pettit bobblehead down. Fishing with a marlin on the end of the line. Encased by a K for a strikeout. Seven on the night, and that misses high. Ball one to Encarnacion. Take a look at our game summary. It's brought to you by Nissan as Andy Pettit gets a quick visit from Jorge Posada. Andy Pettit, seven and a third innings pitch, seven strikeouts. Last complete game shutout by a Yankee in the World Series. Ralph Terry, game seven, 62. Three runs in the first. The Yankees have turned three double plays tonight. One of them to strike him out, throw him out double play, and one of them when it was turned after the ball should have been fouled off the leg of Miguel Cabrera. Two out, down to second is Lowell, and Gonzalez will walk to the plate. Alex has not done much of anything with a bat in the postseason. Four out of 45. Wow. He did, however, have a big sacrifice in last night's game that moved runners to second and third, and both scored on a hit by Juan Pierre. With the infield in. Right. Gonzalez. Strike one. Alex has four RBIs in the postseason. The only reason why I say with the infield in. As you see, Mike Redmond getting ready to go out and catch. Yvonne Rodriguez is finished for the night, it appears. Time called at the plate. With the infield in, Juan Pierre slapped at the ball last night. Drove home two runs with a base hit just past the glove of Derek Jeter. And he back. Might have had a shot at making a play. But they had to play in to guard against the speed of Pierre. That's to Jeter on two hops. And Andy Pettit is through eight for the shutout inning. Gets around another leadoff hit. And as we go to the bottom of the eighth inning here at Yankee Stadium, it's still six to nothing, New York. is a definite must for the entire family. Funny, inspiring, and always entertaining. Run, don't walk with this phenomenal film. Radio, inspired by True Story. Rated PG. Opens everywhere Friday. Did we make a beer with half the carbs of Bud Light taste good? No. We made it taste great. Miller Light. Great taste. Less filling. Cash your credit. Oh, hey, Yahoo. Oh, making me dizzy. Oh, Bank One. British Airways? Bank One. Top of the morning to you. I'm not really British. I sound like it, don't I? Borders. Let me guess. Bank One. Bank One. Bank One. Hey, Helen, another Bank One. Hundreds of leading names, one you. This is so you. Find the card that fits you best. Cute dog. Oh, you two have the same eyes. Individual answers. Bank One. Let's say this is your car. Nice hardtop. If you drive safely, meaning you do stuff like obey the speed limit, 
Always check your blind spot and avoid accidents. Hey, watch it, lead foot. Then Allstate could reward you with something you'll eat right up. Some green. <laughs> up to 20% off your insurance bill. It's the Allstate Safe Driver Discount. Call today and find out how you're in good hands with Allstate. Hey, this is for the safe driver. Here you go. Well, that's the last of it. The original rugged Nissan Pathfinder and introducing the new full-size Pathfinder Amata. Two Pathfinders, countless adventures. The World Series on Fox brought to you by Nissan, who invites you to shift the way you move through the world. By Bank One, find the credit card that fits you best. Individual answers, Bank One. By Allstate, you're in good hands with Allstate. And by Radio, starring Cuba Gooding Jr. and Ed Harris in theaters October 24th, rated PG. We at Fox Sports have partnered with Saturn to bring you aerial views of tonight's game. Saturn and its retailers hope you're enjoying the 2003 World Series. Mike Redmond is the new catcher taking over for Ivan Rodriguez who will sit the rest of this one out. A guy with great stuff an electrifying fastball Braden Looper takes over. Fifth pitcher of the night for Florida. The 95 mile an hour pitch misses low. Yeah, Braden Looper had 28 saves this year. But the Marlins went out and traded for Rudy Urbina on July 11th. And Urbina became the main closer. He had a save in last night's game. On 2 and 0, 3 and 0. This is what can get Looper in trouble. Yep, control. Aaron Boone is on deck, and then Nick Johnson, who has three hits. Green one. Nate Bump, the right hander, gets loose. That's strike two, three and two. Looper came up in the Cardinal organization and was part of the Edgar Renteria trade. Still three and two on Posada. Some of the cast of that 70s show is hanging out, sticking it out in the bottom of the eighth inning with the Yankees up. Six nothing. They want to see if Andy Pettit can complete what is right now a four hit shutout. So far, the Yankee bullpen, which was busy last half inning, is quiet. Posada strikes out. Hooper comes back from a 3 0 count to strike out Posada. One out here in the air. Looper blowing the high fastball by Jorge. Boone now is looking for his first hit. First hit since the home run. On Thursday night, 0 for 4 last night, 0 for 3 tonight. In under the hands of Boone, 2 and 0. Do you remember when we asked our Sprint virtual manager question about which city has the hotter nightlife? I never heard your answer. What would your answer be? New York or Miami? The 2 0 pitch, 2 and 1. New York and in one of the closer calls we've had all season long New York wins 52 percent to 48 percent Michael Strahan made a difference Michael Strahan was our guest back in the second he picked New York that's where he plays it's a tough call though 
Only 96% of the precincts reporting. Two balls, two strikes. Some hanging chads down in Florida, no doubt. Two balls, two strikes with one out here in the bottom of the eighth. Who is the current mayor of this red hot city, New York? Michael Bloomberg. Former Mayor Giuliani. Seats for life right down by that dugout. That's outside, three and two. Boone with a base hit up the middle. One for four tonight. Bought it off, and he's on with one out. Oh, the way these Florida Marlins have played in the postseason, they earned the wild card berth. They beat the Giants, heavily favored San Francisco Giants. They come back to beat the Cubs after trailing three games to one. Certainly analogous to what the Seattle Mariners did in 1995. Last two months of the season, capturing the hearts of that city, playing the New York Yankees in the wild card format, beat them in five games, and two and a half years later, Safeco Field was built. And perhaps the same will happen to the Marlins. They're making their push for a new stadium. Season like this, where they end up in the World Series, go a long way to helping with those efforts. The problem is, some still have a taste of what happened in '98 after the organization won it all in '97. But a different owner, different front office, and different times. Yeah, a new stadium, as Cincinnati showed this year, is not a sign of a club fielding. The very best club possible. I mean, uh, the Cincinnati Reds moving into into a new ballpark this year, the Great American Park, and dismantling that team in late July. How about Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, same deal. All they did was fuel the races around baseball. As they took their team apart. Help the Cubs get into the postseason with the players they sent to Chicago. Nick Johnson strikes out two out first time that Nick Johnson's been retired tonight. Good fastball from Looper that tailing fastball to get Nick Johnson. That's a two seam fastball. You see a right hander with that ball shooting away from a left handed batter like that. That is a two seamer that you hear so much about. If you talked about raw stuff, Braden Looper has the best raw stuff in the bullpen for the Florida Marlins. Who get Urbina at this point in his career. More veteran of the two and a guy who is more used to closing big games. He knows how to pitch, he knows how to use his stuff. He has that good changeup, which he featured last night. Looper is a guy that, when the weather's right, get it up there in the upper 90s. Here's a 1 0. Off the bat of Rivera to the shortstop, Gonzalez, and a wide throw. Castillo snags it to end the inning. We go to the ninth inning here in game two. Andy Pettit will head back to work, trying to finish what he started. 6 0 New York.
beautiful. Whited car and driver name it best luxury SUV for 2003. Well, there's this. 4X Motion all-wheel drive. Beautiful. Touareg, the Volkswagen that does what other Volkswagens don't. It's not just the advanced technology or the world's best blades. It's the way it's all put together. No razor shaves better than Mach 3 Turbo. It's the world's best shave. We guarantee it or your money back. Mach 3 Turbo from Gillette. Sweetheart, I miss you. I miss you too. What did you do today? I played soccer. For your most important calls, reach out on the wireless service America Trust. AT&T Wireless. Jared? What are you doing here? I don't know. I just always wanted to try this place. But Jared, it's okay. I had Subway for lunch. When you have wholesome low-fat sandwiches from Subway, it's all right to indulge now and then. Try our delicious sweet onion chicken teriyaki sandwich, made fresh with under six grams of fat, so you can feel good about being good and okay about being bad. Some dessert, sir? Subway, good, so you don't always have to be. There are some treasures that should be left buried. Some artifacts better left undisturbed. And some you've been waiting years to open. At last, The Complete Adventures of Indiana Jones arrives on DVD, including all three classic Indiana Jones films, plus a fourth disc packed with all new bonus material. Trust me. In two days, whip up some adventure on DVD. It is six to nothing as we go to the ninth inning. And as you look at what's happened in this game, one thing Andy Pettit did was for the most part keep Juan Pierre off base. He got on base one time, but with the next batter was immediately erased on a force out at second base. Andy Pettit, uh, who has only one complete game this year, is out there in the ninth inning, only 23 in his eight year career with the Yankees. Last complete game in World Series play was Randy Johnson, game two of 2001. A four to nothing shutout over Pettit as Pierre grounds to Jeter. Pierre has been on base only once tonight. One out here in the ninth. And we told you that last Yankee World Series complete game shutout was Ralph Terry in game seven and 62. Our all state good hands defensive play of the game is the ball off Cabrera's left ankle. He didn't run and for good reason the ball hit him. It stayed fair went right over the bag. And it ended up a 5-4-3 double play in the seventh inning. A bad break for Cabrera and the Marlins. Fastball for a strike with the crowd at Yankee Stadium chanting his name. Pettit. That fan pleads with Andy to stay. A free agent to be. The 0-1 pitch. Ball and a strike. I know you remember that Ralph Terry complete game with McCovey lining out to Bobby Richardson for the final out. Certainly do. The Yankees didn't win another title for 15 years after that. Back in 62, that is high in the count, two balls and a strike. The Yankees winning in 1976 and then losing four in a row to the Cincinnati Reds. And then they won the pennants. In 77 and 78, also. 2 1. Up the middle, Castillo is on with his second hit of the night. Joe Torrey certainly would love to get Andy Pettit through nine innings here tonight, but realizing as he's working on three days rest, he's not going to get too crazy with trying to get that statistic for Pettit here tonight. Action for the Yankees out in their bullpen, a left-hander and a right-hander. As Pettit will deal with Mike Redmond, the backup catcher. There's Rivera with Contreras to his right. 
Redmond batting in the spot vacated by Rodriguez who was one for three tonight. You get the feeling that the fans who typically fill this park in postseason series leading up to the World Series and during the regular season are the ones that are left in a six to nothing yeah. game and they're the ones yeah. that are chanting Andy Pettit. Oh and two on Redmond. Obviously the tickets are very expensive to the world to the World Series so a lot of the fans that support the Yankees during the season can't attend World Series games. Oh and two on Redmond. If he wins tonight, Andy Pettit will be three and zero this postseason. Slapped into right, Rivera in to his left. Nice catch, two out. All three of Pettit's wins will have come in game two of postseason series this year with his team trailing one game to none. Sixty five thousand people will pack into pro player stadium on Tuesday night and watch their 23 year old Josh Beckett take on Mike Messina. We're one out away from the series being even at a game of peace. Perhaps a reason that the Yankees were lethargic last night. The Marlins running into a buzzsaw tonight. But on Tuesday night, both teams will be rested against two terrific pitchers. One and one on Miguel Cabrera. Mike Messina wanted that pitch for Pettit. Left side, Boone cuts across and can't make the play. Now I wonder how they'll score this. They scored an error on Aaron Boone the second time Cabrera was up. The third time he was up, the ball hit his pants leg. And now another error. Error. So Miguel Cabrera has had that first World Series hit taken taken away from him three times tonight. Well, the Yankee fans probably thinking Aaron Boone is a good defensive third baseman, and he is. Second error tonight, his fourth of the postseason after committing only six during the regular season with the Yankees. Derek Lee at the plate with this crowd wanting to see Pettit finish this game. Into shallow right field. That ball's going to get down for a hit. They bring Castillo to the plate. The throw is in toward third, and the shutout is gone, and that could be it for Andy Pettit. So the error by Boone extends the inning. Derek Lee capitalizes with a base hit to right. It's six to one, and that's going to be it for Pettit. We should get a huge ovation as he exits at Yankee Stadium. Yankees dip into their bullpen to try to finish off game two.
It's either going to be a singer, a dancer, a, um, an actress, a ASPCA agent, a veterinarian, or stop. That's it. She's going to be a teacher, a singer, or... A lawyer. She talks a lot. What? I don't want to be a lawyer. But you talk a lot, so you could be good at it. Oh, stop. You kids are working hard. Yeah, Dad says if we really put our shoulder into it, we can earn a trip to Walt Disney World. Disney World? Well, your dad told me that with Visa, kids get in for free. Use your visa to purchase a Walt Disney World vacation, and for each adult, one kid three to nine stays and plays free, but only with your visa. You want to call Napoleon your king? No! There's not a moment to lose. and Commander, rated PG-13, November 14th, only in theaters. It's the winning season for the Hyundai Sonata. Protected by America's best warranty, 10 years, 100,000 miles. Loaded with standard features like dual front side impact airbags. But the Sonata costs $2,100 less than a Toyota Camry LE when comparably equipped. And now, get an extra $1,500 cash back. The Hyundai Sonata, starting at just $14,539, after $1,500 cash back. You're the winner at the Hyundai Winning Season Clearance. Going on now at your Hyundai dealer. This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Commissioner of Baseball and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without express written consent. Well, the pitching change was made. Aaron Boone, because of this error, which could have ended the night and given Pettit the complete game shutout. Aaron Boone apologized and Andy Pettit telling him don't worry about it. Posada doing the same. As now it's Contreras into the game with two on two out. And Mike Lowell at the plate. So again this was an opportunity for Joe Torre to use Rivera if he wished. But kind of keeping that veil over Rivera until another opportunity. Using Contreras here to try to finish off the ninth. Lowell tonight, one for three. Counts two and zero. Oh. However, that opportunity may come if uh, Lowell and Conine get on base, because that would bring the tying run to the plate. Joe Torre and Mel Stottlemyre thinking that if Contreras has to run it up there and set it on a tee, that's what he should do. A walk's as bad as a home run right here. Two and one. Runners on at first and second. Two out and a two-one pitch. Lowell hits it hard. Boone on a knee. Makes the throw to second, and the game is over. The Yankees take game two, six to one, and the series is tied at a game apiece. Aaron Boone on that final play, showing what he can do at third base. And Andy Pettit gets his 13th career postseason victory. Aaron Boone made two good plays tonight at third and two bad plays, and he ends it on a good note. So Rivera does not make an appearance in the first two games of this World Series. Andy Pettit is the story of the Yankee bats coming up with six runs on ten hits. There are always thoughts about the movie Jaws and Steven Spielberg. They left the surprise for later in the movie. You didn't see the shark until the movie was almost two thirds of the way through. Joe Torre has that shark swimming out in the bullpen. Mariano Rivera and the Marlins don't have to deal 
with Rivera in the first two games. Torrey will save him for a spot later on in this series. Let's go in and check in with Steve Lyons as Rivera and the bullpenners make their way in the heels of a six to one victory. Steve. All right, Joe. All right, Joe. Thank you very much, Andy. You've always been such a big game pitcher for this team, but in the first inning, you struggled a little bit to find the strike zone. What did you do? What adjustments did you make to get back on the strike zone? Well, uh, you know, I was just, I was missing a little bit. I was kind of fighting myself a little bit, wondering what kind of game I wanted to pitch on three days rest. And, uh, you know, just felt felt good. Uh, I was fighting, you know, with my sinker a little bit, trying to make it move instead of just throwing the ball. But, uh, you know, got it going after the guy scored some runs, and that was big. It's going to be talked a lot about in this series. The key to the Florida Marlins is Pierre and Castillo at the top of that lineup trying to get on base. You have to keep them off. How did you go about doing that tonight? Well, you know, I was just able to get Pierre out. You know, he laid that one butt down. He's so fast, but I was able to get him out and then just was able to get the double plays with Castillo and stuff. And the main reason is just I, I've got so many, I got, I got to say, i got so many people back home at my church tonight praying for me. I know they're there and around uh, all over the country praying for me. And just uh, I thank God and, and he just blessed me to be able to do this tonight. You brought it up, pitching on three days rest. There's no way you can go back down to Florida, down two games to nothing. How did you feel out there on three days? You know what? I was inside the clubhouse before the game started, and I was fighting myself, wondering how I was going to feel. And, you know, I just started talking to Raj a little bit, and he said, listen, this is what we worked all year for. You're going to be strong as a horse out there tonight. Just go out there and throw your game. And I didn't believe him in the first inning. I was trying to make the ball move a little bit too much, but then I was able to throw some four-seamers. I had a good fastball all night tonight. All right, congratulations. Go ahead and celebrate. All right, Joe, back to you guys. Steve, thanks. Andy Pettit getting the advice from Roger Clemens. Clemens telling him he would be strong as a horse tonight, and he was for the New York Yankees, winning game two, a final of 6-1. to one. The series even at a game of peace. We'll come back with some final thoughts after these words. Get ready to laugh out loud with the premiere of Fox Sunday. First, it's Brad Pitt as Boomhauer's brother. Oh, Lord. On the King of the Hill season premiere. Then it's the all-new Simpsons Treehouse of Horror where Homer becomes the Grim Reaper. Pardon me, coming through, rest in peace, you're dead, take your dirt nap, beat the worm. Part of a full hour. And Malcolm's family hits Vegas with David Cassidy. Those aren't for you, pass them off! Ugh. Plus, from Ron Howard and Imagine Television comes the premiere of Arrested Development, the show Time Magazine calls the fall's best new sitcom. You love it here? I'm having the time of my life. Hey, T-Bone. Fox Laugh Out Loud Sunday premieres two weeks from tonight. It's the home of beer, football, dairy, and now, Wednesday night comedy. Yes! This fall, Wisconsin is where the laughs live. You're allergic to eggs. Hey, pretty lady. Like what you see? That 70s show, followed by Norm MacDonald in the premiere of the new series, A Minute with Stan Hooper. Look, honey, it's your head made out of cheese. Oh, my Lord. Wednesday nights, come for the laughs, stay for the cheese. Join me. Don't smoke, sir. Oh, it's string cheese. Uh, I can't eat this. I'm lactose intolerant. What's the worst that could happen? Cardiac arrest. I could die, sir. Come on, one little piece. A Minute with Stan Hooper. After that 70s show, beginning Wednesday, October 29th on Fox. Tonight on the Fox 11, 10 o'clock news, when will the wheels roll again? Live with the latest on talks with the MTA and the Mechanics Union. Plus, former NBA-er turned gigantic jockey, why Manute Bowl is joining the race horse crowd tonight at 10. The fall sell-down at your Ford dealer. It couldn't come at a better time. Ford introduces car tax relief on nearly every 2003 car or truck. Incentives that give you 0% for six years or cash backs on Focus, Windstar, and Explorer Sport. You get 0% for six years plus bonus cash on 2003 Explorer, Taurus, and Ranger. Car tax relief at your Ford dealer. Get it today. It's a 6-1 to one Yankee victory here tonight in Game 2 at Yankee Stadium. Again, Mike Woody, our cartoonist, gives us lessons from Game 2. Putting these together during the game. Godzilla grills his own Marlin appetizers. A 3-0 pitch, a three-run home run to center. That was in the first inning, 3-0 Yankees. How do you tame a Marlin? Just pet it. Get it? 
Eight and two thirds innings tonight from Andy Pettit on three days rest. He gets the victory third of this postseason 13 in his career in the postseason. Let's go back down to Steve Lyon Steve. All right, Joe, thank you very much. Now we're with Hideki Matsui and his interpreter, Maggie. And, and Maggie, I wanted to ask him about swinging 3-0 in that first inning, the big three-run homer to get the Yankees on the board. What was he looking for, and why did he decide to swing 3-0? He got assigned to go ahead and swing and when he can, and he did it, and Rio just made him happy. Ask him if, you know, just a couple home runs out of this Yankee outfield in the entire postseason, does he think that may help these guys get going as far as their power swing is concerned, as far as the outfielders? He just two home runs as far as the outfield is concerned for this Yankee outfield. Maybe he can get them going there with, with a little inspiration there. あの、今回のポストシーズンの中であの日本ホームランっていうことだったんですけれども、いろんなこと考えてどうでしょうか。ホームランを打ったということと、まずは。いや、もちろんホームラン打ったことはね、あの嬉しいですけど。本当にびっ
from all of us in New York on a chilly evening in the Bronx. On the heels of a 6-1 win for New York. So long.